All right, let's try it. Let's try it, people. No promises. Let's just do solid normal. Okay. No promises, people. No promises. This could this could be a disaster, a crash disaster. So don't get your hopes up. Accomplished actor, screenwriter, voice of a generation, citizen of the world. Yeah, well, I never ripped from the comfortable childhood in Canada, thrown into the turbulent waters of adolescence in Kobe, Japan. How did you stay afloat? You mean? You mean in high school? Uh, well, my dad got uh, transferred overseas, and um, it was a really excellent experience, actually. I, uh, I was really grateful for it. Grateful. What is your biggest secret, David? Pardon me? You can tell us. Oh, well, it's not much of a secret, but I, um, uh, I have a tattoo of Kobe behind my ear. Tattoo? Splendid. Yeah, it's... It's not terribly big. <laughs> what are you wearing? I, what do you mean? Why are you here? Oh, well, I was hoping to promote my new movie. I, I'm just coming off of the set. No, David Hater. Why here wearing an eye patch? Thank you for the 69 oh, the subs. Oh, Holy this shit. This is pretty cool, actually. Mm. Gives me... Uh, Real-time information and and uh, you know weather, traffic reports. Um, thank you, thank you, game as we, uh, guys. It might crash, uh, so uh, thank you. I hope no one's too excited. You. Thank you, thank you. What? Are that is your super terms? generous. Thank you, Lol. Uh, well, you know, I'd have to say my dream project. Let your dreams drive you. Oh, a message of hope to today's young people from David Hater. Mm. I never actually said that. If it does crash, maybe I can just bust out my old horrific game capture card and my horrific PS3 and we can watch it horrifically on my horrific I don't even know if I own the game. I think someone bought it for me a while back. I'll have to check. Thank you, though, for the 69. That's insane. Thank you so much. That is crazy. Thank you, Bash and Solid. God, I'm scared. Just don't crash. Yeah, big boss. Um... I install I updated the game to 2.0 and I installed a, a patch and I um, altered the GPU. I have it on a custom build at the moment. Yo, Joey. Make it twisted. Is it frozen? No. Welcome to PS3 load times. I thought the same thing when I was playing earlier, like before the stream. I'm like, oh man. This is taking a while, is it broken? And then I remember playing Demon Souls. I was like, oh yeah. Everything takes like five fucking minutes. Yeah, MGS4 is super stable on emulator. You'll see. Yeah, I did some research. It's apparently not even stable on PS3. Like, it crashes on console. Uh, so... Actually, thinking back... Um... I think it ran... 
okay for me on my PS3. But after doing some searching on Reddit, some people claim it crashes. War has changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. Can you guys hear okay? War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. All this control. War has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. Hey, it looks when good. The battlefield is under total control. War becomes routine. I'm having an anxiety attack from, from this game and also my fear of crashing. Can we save it? Woof! Oh, thank God. Yes! <laughs> we made a save! Hell yeah, dude. Now I'm okay. Now I'm okay. It can crash now. Let's see if it runs okay. Uh, ignore that. Snake, you can adjust the camera with the right stick. To center the camera, press in the R3 button. Thank you, Leon. All right, war never changes. Until now. Get a hold of your truck, Snake. Try going under it. Oh, it's playing for me. Jeez, I heard this is a movie, but holy shit. Oh yeah, I'll turn the captions on. It actually did that for me, by the way. Like, I didn't play there. Seems like it should have been on PS4. Am I crazy? The FPS is not stable. I mean, does this? Is it? I assume it's like this on PS3. Um, okay. Let's see. Options. Enable. 
Guys, the PS3 is a horrible console. Um, whenever it's funny when you play PS3 games, you're because of the quality of life that just games have went through overall. Uh, you're constantly thinking to yourself like, "Oh man, it's bugged," but no, it's just this console was in like limbo for load times and stable FPS and stuff like. That. Um. What was I doing? Sorry, I'm so, so distracted. Uh, this. There. Oh my god. Wait, can I turn up the volume even more? Audio. Okay. I could change the menu color. Cool. Uh, it's like Earthbound. Ooh, this is too intense. Let's just go with the classic. Hey, they're dropping items. All right, I think it's running well enough, right? To make a weapon available for use, ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. Old snake. This is a bit overwhelming of a start, I gotta say. I guess when you're thrown into war, nothing can be more overwhelming than that. But yeah. How's my friend? Not anymore. I need to test out my gun. Soldiers are just tools of the government. Hit him hard. It's, it's okay, I basically just broke a tool. What? Huh? Oh, it's probably way too loud now. So. No hurry, boy. Uh, it's on a 3080. Metal gear. Guys, where do I go? Head north and try not to run into any gecko along the way. Okay. Is there costumes to find like in Metal Gear Solid 3? All kinds. Oh. Jesus Christ, I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, this is so much different than the other Metal Gear games. Like, this is the this is the most intense moment in the entire franchise up until this point. You scared old snake. By the way, I've played this game.
Loading. It's, it's loading. It hasn't crashed yet. I don't think. I hear chickens. It has to prep for a movie to play on PS3. Sneaking suit. Old snake. It crashed. <clears throat> Why did it crash? Access violation writing location. Unmapped memory. Okay, let's pray. Can you skip cutscenes in this game? I just gotta save more often. Oh, you can! Oh, I thought you couldn't. So I can skip this? I can. I still need to change the options, though. There we go. Look, guys. We're doing it. To make a weapon available for use, ready it by... One sec, buddy. We're getting back to where we were. Real quick, like... You know, since we can skip cutscenes, it's pretty easy to get back to where you were in this game. We're back! Alright, now while this... While this plays out because we didn't watch it, I'm gonna see if I even own this game. Oh, thank God it's in here. All right, so worst worst case is we have to play it on. This should be fine, right? Right? But my old capture card is fucking trash. It'll look terrible and it'll be delayed too. So my reaction will be two seconds ahead of what you guys see. That's why I'm going to such lengths, by the way. Cause like it's just gonna be a bad experience streaming console. But Yeah, of course, Machete. They need to re-release this so badly. This is unacceptable. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Mr. Bolt. Okay, we got this. Don't crash in the same spot. 
It's only on PS3. Controller shakes the entire playthrough. <laughs> it's shook right off my desk. Is it too loud now? Or is it okay? Look guys, we're further than we were. Look! I seen a box. Hurry snake. doesn't need boxes anymore. Boxes are primitive now. Don't worry, the crashes will add to the, um... Yeah, the, I may have that. I don't know which patch I installed. Thank you, Alex. Oh. They certainly do add to the tension. Progress! We're in. Three days earlier. We know that game. Is that supposed to be the boss's grave? <clears throat> My boyfriend. Even the dead have ears. Snake, we've got to go. I see. You've got an old friend waiting for you. Otacon. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive. 
but the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic fairness syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Well... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... A year at best, right? Snake, let's try another doctor. <laughs> it won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox Die. You're right. But we don't know where Naomi is. No. You bastard. Well, I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. He's retired. The only place I'd see you dress like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. What? Snake dices. Please cross your fingers, everybody. To stop him now before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Why didn't it show twin Liquid snakes? Is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Two eggs today? Polidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh. Nine. Listen, kid, don't crack the eggs on the side of a pan. Liquid Sun. To crack them on a flat surface. Ouch. This is Snake. Thank you, Archives. You read me. What's the situation? Snake. I'm just inside the city limits. Is the source scary? This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. 
It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the Army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. Got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Thank you, Chris. Uh, okay. Quick! Woo, we did it. We did it, guys. We saved it. Look at the progress. Oh. I see. Oh, I'm not sure. Old snake feels bad, man. Is that what happened? Do you shake the controller to reset the ammo? Always possible. War, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? Okay. All right. No enemies, but no friends. It's gonna stay out of trouble. Instant noodles. Ah. Oh, I see Kingsley. Wait, wait, what? No, no. Look at how stealthy I am. You won't see me. Octo camo. Ah, fuck it. Oh, no. Old Snake is so fragile. Snake, it's gonna be tougher to break through. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. There's no way they could see me. Look at my stress. What? But I'm Snake. Yeah, he still got it. He still got it. He still got it. He still got it. Snake, respond. Snake. Look at that ass. Snake! All right then. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid all unnecessary contact, dude. How do you see me? I need my trank gun. No, we don't. No, we don't. Sixty percent camo. It's looking my way. Hold your horses, everyone.
I'm on your side. I don't even know how to do any of the controls. Let's grab. I don't know. That worked. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember though, PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. Rogaine. Perfect. Of course, the only Metal Gear I'm stealthing in is the one where you're in the middle of a war. <laughs> yeah, I just feel bad for Old Snake. I don't want to get him into trouble. I don't think he could take it anymore. Okay, wait, we need to check the lockers just in case there's more stealth camos. So you guys said there is stealth camos. A lot of people in chat said both things. Like, there is. No, there's not. I played this a while ago, so I, I can't remember. Who is that? Nothing. The enemy. What? <laughs> Snake! Oh. Snake! Remember your training. Remember the basics. This is a stealth mission. Rocket. Just go. Oh my god, the 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 the, the. Dude. Snake takes a lot of damage in this one. Holy shit, there's like no iframes. Rod Snake! Dude! iPod? Does Rogaine heal me? Perfect. Love that line. Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Okay. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. 
I call it the solid eye. Oh, it's yeah. purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. We're so cool now. Yeah, I thought he was going to be like tight. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the Your PS3 application has likely crashed. We're here? Okay. I know the strats now. Ration. Going on? The enemy? No, I'm no enemy. Love of Pete, dude. For the love of Pete. Go, Snake. Just go, buddy. Oh my God, you die fast. Sorry, sorry, I'm rushing because of the crashes. Ugh. Oh, no alert now, though. Okay, now I'm not rushing. I have no excuse. PUBG in, PUBG in. I just picked normal. Thank God. Just play it cool, people. Huh? Who was that? This is some old guy that broke out of the home. Just some old guy. Uh, old snake. There. Wait, we were at the end of that cutscene, right? I think so. Silence pistol, there we go. Ah. And it's okay, guys. We fixed the crashing, by the way. There's going to be no more crashing ever. Go, go, go. Completely fixed it. Go. Binoculars and night vision. Whoa! Normal. All right, people. You ready? Thank you, Golden Puppy. And thank you, Larry, for the tier two again. Thank you. Let's do this. Let's go, people. Go, Snake. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going over that way. Yikes, dude. Dude, there's shit everywhere. I'm just gonna get hit in the crossfire. Yeah. 
Enemy spotted. Going in. Cover me. Oh, it's just a bunch of weapons? I thought it would be some items, too. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and... Oh! Cool. Register? I need to go over that way. Well, at least they die. I have There's too many of them. Alright, I'm going over there. Why am I the enemy? Kill the guys that are railing you, dude. Ugh. I need to go in here, boys. I'm sorry. Oh my god! Dude. Snake is so squishy. It's pretty dark in there. I know what you're gonna say. It's the enemy. I need a helper. Look at Snake. Shit. Chickens. Hey, fellas. It's me, Fuck. You might not recognize me with my camo on. It's us, guy. Oh! Rats are a known enemy to chickens. Caution. Oh, fuck. I was pressing the wrong button. Sec. It's the enemy. Can I eat him? Now uh, we've changed. That wasn't us anyway. Come on. Oh shit. We're How dark is it in here? Oh, what? That is shit. Look. I can't take this. He said he couldn't take it. Do him a favor. Oh shit. Okay, well I can. That's a hard favor. I'm leaving. iPod music. Shit. Oh, well, should we check out the iPod?
Gentleman's magazine. Hey. Wait, what I got milkman? Shit. Wait. Can I become the Playboy magazine? AI never changes. Fellas, 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 please! Ugh. Am I even going the right way? This is the case. My stress is through the roof. Besides the crashes, this actually runs pretty well in emulator. I'm surprised. Oh wait, can you guys even hear me? Okay, you're here. Oh, so Twitch is having problems, eh? Sorry, I was so immersed in the game, I just realized. Oh, 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 oh. Sweet, huh? oh, hold it. Watch where you pointing that thing. Grabbing. <laughs> Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. It's the merchant. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. I was just talking good about the emulator. Because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered. Like Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. Polish. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. King Ezekiel from Consider Walking me. Dead? Take it. That's cool. BM4. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. He's still a gun nerd. Precision, not like that government issue shit. It's a uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. Noobs. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead. Give her a squeeze. 
Hmm. Huh. I can't pull the trigger. Really? That's weird. Uh. That's weird. Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes oh, they don't no. really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they're even registered. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green, either. Got last gen nano machines. So I'm guessing former US Army. <laughs> I don't know what you're here for. But you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. Yeah. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Which is very broken Dreading, right now. A well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. Keep it strictly business. So, we ready to make a deal or what? <laughs> okay then, let's talk business. The Patriots this are breaking Twitch. Zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Hell yeah. What? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. Ribbon does not accept Bok Bucks. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Chirping me. See? No sweat. 
Now you can use non-ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our guests. Step outside. You're the monkey. Oh, there you see. Oh, yeah. From now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. Give this shit a rest. Yeah. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and controls essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profit. This must have been so hard on David Hayter's voice. The law. Demand keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made yeah, the PMCs gotcha. big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get oh, really, really? bloated. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is going to be green coppers. More like we're all going to be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green copper. Is anyone too. in a proxy war with someone on Twitter right now? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you? Thank you, no me. Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. No, I didn't make a command to fix the game because my game. All right then. If you need. I've been playing me, for an hour and twenty minutes, probably. It's crashed like three service. times. Catch my drift. Don't worry, it's not gonna crash again. The crashing is over. We fixed it. It's all fixed. No, wait, wait, no, no, I need to save it first. Otacon, not now. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. Mm -hmm. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. 
Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the expository ammo, dialogue in the middle of war. Yeah, Drebin just like points. Metal Gear Solid 2 that's having a whole you can like half-hour conversation on Kodak while Solidus just sits there and stares at you. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants. Rat Patrol. Rat Patrol. Hell yeah. We saved it. We saved it. We s now saving is hype. All right, guys. Snake, blend in with the wall. I gotta use the bathroom. Guys, cover Snake. God, make sure he doesn't crash the game or something. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. All right. Oh shit. Right through. Ah! Snake. Careful, snake. The walls could come down any second. Okay. Can't see a damn thing, buddy. Yeah, I can see him. It's the enemy. I need help. It's the enemy. No, no, no. Whew. I think they see me. Coming out, or I'm not. Why kill rebels? Because I'm a rebel. Oops. This works. Johnny. An old friend. Oh, a new friend, though. He likes it. Oh, 
Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. What? For God's sake. That was like what frame happened? perfect. I Snake? Snake. I need to equip this stuff first. <laughs> How'd they see me though? Oh, they're right there. Everyone hates Snake. So as soon as you kill your first rebel, they're all against you. If you don't kill anyone, do they ever hurt you? Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. One man spam. Yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll all tap soon. Epic, dude. Too powerful. Yeah, Twitch is like hella broken. Will this work? Easy! I'm not shooting that mortar. That's mean. Sleep. Sleep. It's a strike. BMCs have sent Oh, I need to use the frickin' thing, don't I? Uh-oh. You'll have to make do. That striker will be shooting at you too. Stay on your toes. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Oh, it's okay. Right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> unique. Bunch of unique chatters. You're all special in your own little way. My little unique chatters. Will this kill me is the question. Fuck! That feels relatively fresh. Ah! 
my leg. Fuck it, go, snake. What? You have to aim to shoot? Wait, look at that camo though. I'm here. I'm here. No, it's not going to crash again. We fixed it. Don't worry. We fixed it, fellas. It's all fixed. Yeah! Is this the room with the C4? No. There it is. Where exactly do we- so we need to get be- we need to go that way. I guess I should go get those noodles. like a puzzle game now. Snake, I'm detecting a trap in your vicinity. It's a bomb that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trap. It's a remote control device, and I'm detecting slight traces of volatile sleep gas. Yeah, Trigger sleep it, gas my ass. Out, so be careful. Sleep gas, he says. I'm picking up a faint radio signal from that thing. I'm guessing it might be transmitting its operating status in real time. I'd leave those sensors alone if I were you. Yeah. Just leave him alone, Snake. Hey, chicken doodle. There is one way we didn't try going. Is everyone back? They're back. Guys, you're back. You're back. And poor snake's back. It hurts. Twitch is fixed. Twitch is fixed. So, you, could you guys still watch? It was just you couldn't talk.
Um, oh my god. How are kids supposed to navigate this? <gasps> what? Oh, Metal Gear 2, no! Here we go. Snake has his iPod in listening to old music from his past, even though he wasn't in this game. I hope our recent fix uh, fixed the crashing. Because since it crashes like every half hour, the last cutscene in the game is two hours. So, a little worrying. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. E easy now. My outfit's not good for this cutscene. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten year vet. How the hell did you ever survive 10 years? Don't move. Oh, we know that voice. CQC, real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Fox. Snake? Snake. Meryl. Is that you? Or a snake. What happened to your face? Huh. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. I wonder what what would have been oh like God. if he looked the same here. Meryl, you're my informant at the U.S. military. And you must be the inspector sent by the U.N. Commander! Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID. Whoa! The body's investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> Oh, no. What's your problem? You okay? Stomach pains? 
diarrhea. Snake knows that too well. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant, probably some kind of advisor, maybe a scientist. Oh, shit. So one unit. Of course, I feel terrible Something for Snake. Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. <laughs> Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally. Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. Uh. You quit the <laughs> unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I have a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. Nano machines. Guys, nano machines. The nano machines Oof. all right real -time this is the furthest we've been in this game they years position movement speed reserve ammo firing accuracy wounds rations so this is where I kept crashing last if you guys missed it I I streamed mgs4 for like six hours a few weeks ago all the data gathered and it kept crashing on this cutscene we never fixed it on emulator I even had the people who created the emulator and the people who work on getting Metal Gear Solid 4 working better in chat trying to fix it and they couldn't. But it was it ended up that my ISO was corrupted. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the US military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system. PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you too. Of course. 
Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages. Acuba looks fields. cool here. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nano machines can Thank you, Dragon. Each other, making for the tier two. Smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy yeah, or with cap. to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. That's what we to need. Every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Lalelule, no. What are you talking about? Oh no. Never mind. Your tinfoil so hats. Is foolproof, huh? Ready. Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. Oh god, I gotta pay close There's attention no way again. Party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When our SOC heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us Ouch. to sniff around the PMC. Scared the hell out of me. Even with this SOP, pay an attention, eye on things, Bork. There are always There's going to be a to quiz later. Oh fuck! Conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. Uh, yeah. I don't... I, this PS3, I can't believe it still works. I am worried that it's just gonna break mid-playthrough. ...carriers ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. It's an ancient piece of technology. I know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell. Yeah. Uh-oh. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding. You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Uh. Was that sound effect a prop, like a hidden prop for me to press X? Thank you, Eclipse, and thank you, TG. So, you knew. Yeah. 
little violation of the need to know role. Then why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. Wait, did I miss something or it's not explained yet? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Remarried. <clears throat> really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with Stepfather. his own daughter. Stepfather. I just watched that series this week. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Manly grunts. Commander. What is it? <sighs> There's 20 of them. And they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the frog. It's private troops. Frogs. Oh, oh crap. This is not good. <clears throat> oh. I, I I'm using a PS4 controller. Were you being followed? No. Akiba. Uh, they might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa! Wait! 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 Hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no, oh, it wasn't my fault, I swear, it wasn't my fault, oh man, oh, look, I, what? dumbass, we're moving out, Meryl, where's Liquid, at a camp up ahead, I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive, frogs, Follow me. I like seeing them work together, work together again. and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. Please don't say board. twin snakes in uh, Got my it. chat. Got it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! I'm just kidding, by the way. Man, I hated that game, though. Bruh! Can I even look? Oh, I can. Oh my god, the controls. Maybe we're better off running in. How the hell do you shoot? T90! Oh, you have to aim first. Oh, I see. Wait, P90? Hey, yo, Drebin. P9, it's the best. It's the best counter strike weapon. Not really, though. Drebin. Unlock my P90. What is it again? It's a. Uh... Oh wait, wait, can he not do that? I've never been to Drebin's shop. Guess I could just read. I like when chat helps me though. Guess not. 
Oh, wait. Oh. Yay. P90. Bruh. <laughs> I didn't know I was so in the mix here. How do I reload? Legendary hero coming through. Legendary hero coming through. Coming through. Legendary hero. Oh my god, the, the camera is so... The This game needs a re-release really badly. Who's with me? I actually didn't know, by the way. By the way, I always talk about like re-releasing Silent Hill, like to and Resident Evil, obviously for the classics. But I had no clue how bad of a state that Metal Gear, the franchise, was in. It's actually pretty brutal. Like, it's a damn shame, honestly. I mean, yeah, maybe Konami will. Work on it. Thank you, Meek, for the tier three in the 18 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Uh. They're okay. We're escaping. How the hell do I reload? Oh, yeah, yeah sir. Us. Look at this, guys. Ooh, headshots. I feel like such a noob playing shooters on controller. <laughs> so much harder. <laughs> but... Everyone's slightly newbie on controller. Snake, you've got to keep up with the zero one unit. I am. Otacon, I am. I hope I don't actually need to go up there. Maybe I do. What the hell? Akiba's not gonna last much longer. What? Go back and say this sorry butt snake. Akiba's down. How could this happen? Who cares? I've killed him every game. And his stepdad or whoever was in that other one. Otacon, it makes the it makes the franchise better. Like he used to be a funny meme, okay, but he ruined he ruined it. He ruined the franchise. You guys coming down or? P90. Guys, everyone in the chat, what's your favorite gun of all time? Favorite gun of all time.
Do Elise. These nuts. It can be from any game. It can even be fantasy. Oh my god, sorry. Oh, I used to love the Desert Eagle. That used to be my favorite. Akiba! I hope Akiba's okay. Show yourself, you, you bastard. Red nine. No, I'm so bad. Ugh. Fellas, come on. Come on, Akiba. Okay, maybe I can't just rip on it. What? Dude! Okay, I remember this part being sort of annoying, but now it definitely is sort of annoying. Oh my god! Um... Do it. Come on, Akiba, you pooper. I hope the claymores are gone. Oh my god, the ammo we have right now. Akiba? Clear. Fictional fire. Oh, my, the, you know what? When it came out, like the gun that affected me the most was definitely the grav gun Clear. from... Half-Life 2. I thought that was the coolest. When it turns blue, like when you can pick up uh, anything. I think when it turned blue. God, that was so fun. Yeah, FPS for sure. It's a bit of a cop-out choice. Akiba, what are you doing? Akiba! Aki, bruh. Contact. contact, contact, people. Contact. Cover me. His stomach, his stomach. His stomach! Maybe it's his diet. Or does he have irritable bowel syndrome? Get out of the way! 
He seems perfect for Meryl. Who's with me? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. down sights. The FPS. Oh my god, the FPS. They never end. Maybe we're just supposed to push forward. Shoot! Snake, Akiba's been knocked out. What? Dude, this part sucks. Get down, old man. Hey. Get up. We did it. Thank God. He poopied. Yeah, it seems pretty bad, solid. Thank you, Elite. Thank you, Grizzly. It's nice to be streaming again. By the way, guys, I'm not taking another break until, um... Uh... Like, Mayish, Just so everyone is aware. Coming down. What's going on, May? Nothing. <laughs> not nothing, actually. I just. I know I'm not going to be doing anything until then. Because nothing will get me out of the house until then. Let's just go. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Oh, 
Ah, fuck. Move, sir. Oh, did they auto activate in this too? Oh, sick. Okay, okay. I just don't really like using grenades. I wanted to shoot that P90. Yeah, I used to love P90 in Counter-Strike Source. Have they added new weapons in Counter-Strike Go? Or is it something they do often? I, I haven't played it in forever. Hey. Not skins, but weapons. Yo, Barry. A revolver. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny that Counter Strike, like, you look at all these other big shooters like Battlefield and Call of Duty, and they're getting a new game like every year, and then Counter Strike is just like. 1.6 lasted a while, then Source lasted a long time, and now Go has been going on for since I've been a streamer, really. Pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, the 60 FPS corner, yeah, really. Look at that, look! If only the whole game ran like this, dude! Like, the reason why when I'm aiming at enemies and it's just like... I'm horrible at aiming, it's not because... Like, I am bad at aiming in general, or, well, on controller, but... Man, it just feels so, like, slow and sluggish. Yeah, Failmore, I agree. PS3 sucks. I just can't handle the games that are on there. At least with things like the Switch, they have other things going for it. You know, it sucks more PS3 emulator. Depends on the game. I'm absolutely not playing Metal Gear Solid 5. Playing Ground Zeroes, I did enjoy it by the way, but it just the nano machine network really made me realize how much I don't want to play 5. Share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? Hmm. I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be all right? This getup doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. 
Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Uh, it's real terrible for Snake in this game. <clears throat> Kiba. One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. Thank you, Era, for the five gifted yeah. subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Location. Thank you, Opti, Snyderman, and, and Abracadabra again. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. She snake. She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Oh. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba. He was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy... He didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Merrill. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Merrill told us, Liquid should be there. Yeah. Hey, drunk goblins. <clears throat> okay, time to head for the surface. Yay. What is he doing? Oh, it's because of the dead zone in my... Oh man, I should really try and get my PS3 controller working. But, I don't know where it is, and it's a sack of shit. It's like broken. Or it's not fully broken, but... It's pretty bad. It's in rough shape. Doing the worm! Do I have other heals? I hope so. Huh. Oh, nice. We got Rogaine. We got noodles. The iPod, yep. I don't know who to not kill. These guys are my friends, right? They aren't shooting at you.
let's just what? Okay, are you shooting at me? He's not shooting at me. Crashing. I really, really am enjoying this game, by the way, and I, like, I enjoyed it my other playthrough too. But, um, oh my God, stay, please. I hate army shit. Like, I hate this environment. No, 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 just snake. Lag. You guys are right at my destination. Yeah, one second, fellas. Why are you guys being mean? Coming up. Thank you, Mr. Foot and Ari Fan for Life. Thank you. Move. Thank you, Don. God. Scary. It can't be. Is that it can't be? Yeah. <laughs> 
Takes like okay. Hey. Look at all those guns. Yeah, that was cool. Thank you, Chef Lucador. Thank you, Don and Miss Foot. Okay. Can I have the guns? Oh, hell yeah. Look at all the points. The Drevin points. Northwest. Yeah, one second, buddy. I'm getting my stuff. Anything else over here? I hear chickens. That was actually a rooster, but still. Oh! These guys are friends. Right? You guys said they were friends! Fellas! What happened? We all used to love each other. I have no friends in this game. Yeah, that's bullshit. Excuse me, everyone. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Ugh. Hey, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Thank you, Ned. Yeah, I mean, if you ha I have so many healing items, why bother fighting? I'll just lose more health and ammo than I would by running. Oh my god, the FPS is so bad in this game. I'm playing on console, by the way, if you guys are wondering how I got it working. There he is! Yeah, I, I got a. I knew it. A splitter. Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you. Understand? I'm a peacekeeper here to keep order. Understood.
uh, uh. One day, when Bill Gates pushes that button, all of us with the COVID vaccine. So easy, but these results... Oh, refreshing, don't you think? Snake, please. Snake, if you won't be a prisoner to fate, then go. Fulfill your destiny.
is so cool. Uh, the mini Metal Gear army is cool. My hero. Okay. Look at that. Not bad. Look at the points. Wait a sec. Do we need to install now? Don't tell me. Oh, no. I can use the bathroom anyway. Oh, my God. All right, one second. And gentlemen, oh, that went pretty fast. Yeah. Ugh. Thank you, Runaway. All right. There you go, better. Thank you, Skizzerk. I have no clue, guys. Maybe. This PS3 has been sitting in storage for like five years. Yeah, broken yoke. Ah, oh, two of them? Remember those numbers. Olga. There's our man. I remember the sun being so flat. Oh, snake. Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. And would you make some for Snake, too? Okay. Uh, uh, hey. None for me, Sonny. Uh, snake already ate, like, three rations and a uh, two noodles. People say no gameplay? Look at this. Someone saved my life. Yeah. It could have been Meryl and her boys. Look, there's gameplay. 
Don't eh? worry. They're doing fine. Liquid got away. <coughs> Two okay. cutscenes. Okay, can it please not show my deaths? Just seized up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. <coughs> it looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire in mass, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. Oh. She was there. Naomi was at Liquid Side. Otacon, did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. Found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it wasn't Helmy. Why? Here, let me show you something. Yeah, the movie's fantastic. Right after it all happened, I got a video. Look at that wallpaper. It was sent to my old address. Perfect. Thanks, Sonny. They're and delicious. a cigarette. But you haven't even eaten any. Um, uh, yeah. uh, we grown ups uh, have to watch our caloric intake, you know. Oh, True. Thank you. I was looking for this. You're not watching your n n nicotine intake. Got him. <sighs> Sonny. <sighs> you really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like God. I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. Please not. The data's been quarantined. No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's. And I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Die. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. Oh, shit! The technology used in Fox Die was incorporated, inherited, really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Die works. <laughs> Liquid's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. It's a type of encrypted data. Sonny decoded it for us. Remember now? 
Uh oh. This is data from the Soliton radar you used to shadow Moses. I'm guessing Naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her. Oh shit. Sending the map data in Soliton radar format. Pretty clever. And Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. Uh. Mei Ling. The, the data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Soliton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. Thank you, Dark. <laughs> it's Campbell. Oh no. No, not Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet too. I suspect it was actually Liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual probe. Oh, hell yeah! There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. Gameplay! The rebels have hired a small scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really pure Ramamon, one of the PMCs under outer heavy control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credit. Shit. Colonel, where's Meryl? How do I whip him? I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Oh. Oh. Which means Naomi is our only lead. I've secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Oh, that no. Plan. I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. Four four. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 four four to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, it'll be a solo sneak mission. Help you slip into the facility unnoticed. Okay. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, is this that sneaking mission? No, 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 no. Ah, 
Yeah! Now, this is an action game, guys. Action shooter. Colonel, how deeply are they involved in all of this? The Patriots, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been oh, dead yeah. for hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots the circle of are life. the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. Oh shit. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, Aldous is trying to save us. Stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PSs uh. and their war business? Right now, Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy Front door is blocked. He must be dying to uh. be free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. Mm -hmm. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Protract? Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid's safe house. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Yeah, same. I forgot this existed. Yes. Got it. Thank you, Tom Alama. I'm glad uh, I can provide you so much entertainment. Thank you. Uh oh. Damn. Look who's back. He's right there. There I am. Go ahead. 
beast. Leave one. Don't forget this face. Oh, God. This is the face of the bastard who kills your comrades. Snake looking damn fine. More gorillas will be coming to storm the safe house. He must be among their numbers. Sooner or later he will come. Don't let down your guard. Right here, bruh. He does look like Morbius. Cutscenes, cutscenes. Otacon, what the hell? That was Vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. The oh shit! Snake. Could Vamp be? I did not mean to do that. Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. True. I swear, the next time he shows up, not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's <laughs> being held is to the north. We the whole, whole game. We, I ruined it. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear the PS3 is going to explode. Actual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even Taking so, back. making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for her older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Hey. Taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember... The conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting okay. a facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw with the tentacles. Was it using the same octo camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sonny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. He's a phony. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming, too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. We're playing, we're playing. Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Okay. Guys, what if I get seen?
Stand up. Wait, do I not have a presser? Oh, it's always suppressed. You taking a poopy? Wait, he's... What's he doing? Move along. <sighs> hey, boy. Huh? We're under attack! No, that's... No, no! Okay, guys, we're gonna make a run for it. Ready? Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. We're going in. We're going in. Cover me. They won't see me coming. There's a guinea pig. Who's that? It's no one, bruh. It's no one. Where's this other person? That's oh, the guinea pig. We're doing a good- look at us stealthing! We're nailing it right now! Uh. HQ, do you read? This is HQ! Yes. Ah! Understood! The state of alert has been lifted! Resume positions! Wait, who's seen me? Who's seen me? Shit. How'd they know, guys? How'd they know? Zero rations, row gain running low. Okay. We just gotta go this way. They don't see me, they don't see me. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Stealthin? No, I'm a climb sink. Why does he hate climbing? Maybe I can climb the grassy part. No. Uh, fellas, I don't want to hurt anyone. Alright. Hey, fellas, please don't hurt me. Sake! Thank you, thank you. Alright, we're almost there, almost there. Look, evasion. Look, we're doing it. I'm very stressed, though. Look at that. Yes? Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle. End up panicking. 
She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? Yeah, Jack. After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. Ah. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Where's Contact Jack? Anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147. You're at home with Roy? Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married... The one that Meryl was talking about is Rosemary, yes. Oh, no. Didn't I tell you before? <clears throat> news to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh, we lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? Yeah. I was He's saying everything we want to say. <clears throat> one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah. Lucky me, huh? <laughs> now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel... You knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the, the snake's just laying in on him. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Meryl and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Meryl wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case, call Rosemary if you ever need advice. Sorry, the crashing on the emulator has me worried. I have to just constantly save. Doom turns 30 years old this coming December. Oh, I feel no. old Bork Chris underscore SG. I know. Thank you, Symbol. We can always see what's going on at the Nomad. Oh, I'll, I'll might take a peek, Cash up. Thank you. Oh shit. There's people. What are you trying to do? Damn it. Sleepy people. Look guys, sleepy people. Look guys, sleepy people.
Wow, look at all the new guns. Sleepy, sleepy people. Sleepy birds, too. How many people are there? Well, everyone's sleeping at least. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. This is a No! No, stop! I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to kill anybody! Stop! Stop! Ah! Come in, Snake. What happened, Snake? Snake! I, I was holding in the menu button, but it was too late. It was too late, guys. Okay, we're gonna take a different approach this time. A stealthier approach. It was you. What's up with you? Someone there. Stay on your toes. Not huh? this way. Who was that? The enemy. No, no. Oh my guys, please. Why do they Why do they hate me so much? Yo snake. Ah, oh, thank you Rob JP. Thank you. Oh my god, you you just play this game for like 5 minutes at a time, especially if you rush. Who is this? Snake. That voice. Oh! There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Okay, these guys are my friends. You're my friends, right? Here, go on ahead. Snake's Let's coming. Go. The rendezvous point is just up ahead. Reinforcements should be here soon. Going rocky. Careful. Guys, it's an ambush. Snake, PMC sniper. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep low and stay behind cover. Stay low. Get up. Can I zoom with this thing? Ah! 
I don't know how to zoom. Oh, it's D pad. Press the zoom button. Yeah. Okay, just uh, guys, I'm. Oh my god, not this again. Guys, please! Okay, we're gonna. Run, Snake. They don't see us. They don't see us. They don't see us. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah. What? Snake! Okay, hey, just let me in. Just let me in. Here for a good time. Not a long time. We're in. Who the hell am I? I suppose I can stealth a little. God playboy. We're winning. Dude. Pro game. Laggy. There's nothing under there. Thank you, Abra. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the five good subs. Thank you. Let's go, people. We're in the clear. Look. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you. Oh, I'm being sneaky as heck. <sighs> oh, you stupid. Thank you, Manila. Grabbing. Come on, hop in. I'll stream for at least eight hours. I don't think so. No smoking. Robin. Especially in the, uh, yeah, right here. Especially in the CIA. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. Huh. It's okay. He's going nutty. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. 
You never heard of them? Fellas. They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B&B &B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers, belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a yeah. female. Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drebin to let you in on a few things. Okay. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B and B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, never heard of him. Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Ah. Uh. Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. I did get the splitter. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. Hmm. War transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. The pain, the fury, and the sorrow, eh? Four B and Bs have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also a Laughing Octopus, a master of mimicry, and Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally, the Mistress of Mind Control. Oh sh Screaming Mantis. Those names Mantis. all sound a little familiar. Yeah. There used to be a guy by that hmm. name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. He knows. They're the snake hound unit. And they've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Driven. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lolly. Thank you, Smaxy. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, <clears throat> I'm no Patriot. You could say Patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. And foil hats, holds people. This world together keeps this whole mess in check. We are forward. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. 
which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information okay. processing system. An AI. Mm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriot's AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nanomachines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. Mm. Um. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Thank you, Drevin, for the exposition. Blow my kiss. No, no. No cigarette. Blow my smooch. Go on. Get your ass back inside. Now. He's addicted. Poor monkey. Oh, the rock camo makes my butt look crumbly. Where'd all these guys come from? We were in the clear. Um, I'm going to run anyway. All right, and we're off. And we are off. Someone. Listen, people. Just leave me alone. Only a few footsteps now, allowed. Can you hear me? This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no more. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. 
for someone. Finding what? The corpse of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No, the leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matka Pluku. Matka Pluku. Big Mama. Big Mama. <clears throat> we'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait, what about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose, I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Well, that's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried. He was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone, and Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it, to move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Snake. Do, 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 do. A playboy. We're going. We're in low FPS county. Something there? No. Direct hit. Direct hit, direct hit. Palace, please! Okay, I need to get by here. Please. Who, who owns that? Quiet, monkey man. Wait, where's the... We got him! Oh, I keep hitting this guy. One sec. Hey. Yeah, it's all good. No, don't wake him up. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, dude, come on. Oh no, reinforcement helicopter? It's bullshit. Try, I'm gonna try. Bullet drop, come on! 
Looks like a fellas, I'm just doing something. Alright, that's my cue. Gotta go. Zero bullets! Grabbing! <sighs> Driving. Yeah, I'll buy a three piece. Oh my god, I have a lot of money. dead yet. Second. Let's go people. Stop crawling, you. What? Okay. He was so hit. Oh, asleep. What the hell's going on? Where the hell am I even going? Oh shit! They seen me! Oof! Coming through! Thank you, Kojima! Don't do it, I'm innocent! Any calls? Oh my god, do we get to go through load screen and not have a cutscene? Okay, these guys better not attack me. Good, good, good. We're good, guys, we're good. I know the strats. I know the strats. Oh shit. Snake, the rebels have got an armored dozer. They're probably gonna use it to bust their way into the mansion. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the compound. Alright, alright. Okay. Look at this gameplay. This is sick. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna sleep that guy next. There we go. Ah, fuck it. Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion grounds. Proceed immediately. Infiltrate the place and find out where she is. All right, let's go. Snake style. Do you guys in chat remember how to stealth? Because we're about to. Time to be a tree. Who shot me, by the way? God, the FPS! Who's shooting me? I'm not even found yet. Alright. 
five. Oh, nice. Wait, what? The rebel. That's a rebel. All right. Coming in. Or not. Mr. P90 is in. Oh, nice. We got company. There's too many of them. Mr. P90. Oh. Call me Mr. P90. Oh, ration, nice. A playboy? We have so many playboys. It's amazing. Hello. It's amazing because we can get this scummy, dirty magazine off the face of the planet when I find a bonfire somewhere. And no one will ever have to look at them again. They're a stain on humanity. Oh, hell yeah. Mrs. B, how was your vacation? Up we go. Oh, nice. It was, it was sick. I have a new favorite movie now. Stepfather 2. I'm on, I am playing on console, yeah. <laughs> then we'll have to make a lot of changes. Yes, that's right. Yes. I've taken care of that. Yes, I understand. Yeah, Snake. It's like we're playing RE7. It looked similar. Things on your end? I see. They're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> that wasn't me.
I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize 4D sound data in a Soliton radar file. How is the good doctor? Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? I see. Who were you just talking to? Liquid. Although I suppose he's really Ocelot. From a medical standpoint. I thought he was here. Uh-oh. He's not, at the moment. Where are all the guards? They know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. <laughs> and we were right. But only partially. SOP yeah, I'm playing on. Function. Yes, sir. I like how you're saying y'all standards and. Y'all have high standards or you're referencing a singular individual from a chat with a thousand plus people. But instead of calling out the single person, you say everyone. Promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release Shout the soldiers' to TTV who But we didn't know about the mental control. Zype. And the nanomachines e. went berserk. No. Our test was a success. At least, it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, pain, fury, all and the sorrow. sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, like their senses weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent, every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in 
complete shambles. Snake, remember Frank? Frank Yeager, Gray Fox. They twisted yeah. his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed, but the battlefield hasn't. Until that point, war Whoa. was like a game to them. Oh! And then suddenly, reality came crashing down. You like those games? Ordinarily, our hearts are hardened through experience. Even the most grizzled veterans live with an inescapable guilt they've had to overcome bit by bit through the years. And even then, it never truly goes away. Yeah, John. For a mind lacking that essential experience, oh, no. it was simply too much to bear. Legendary solid snake. What about me? I've never been under the system's control. I'm L wanting. That's why I want to examine your body. You need to know too. All right, Snake. Undress. Snake, what's gotten into you? Hurry up. <sighs> we just seen someone outside the window, though. Thank you, B guy. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you, thank you. Snake. One day. One day there will be a Bakkan. Oh. What was she expecting? Right. Let's just get this over with. Yes. Of course. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe it just hit her that, like... I'll just hit her there. Snake, do you remember what I told you in my video mail? About the first generation of nanomachines? Hmm. The ones you stuck me with at Moses. Yes. Yeah, and it's sort of her fault. Recharged by your body heat. Sort of. They won't stop functioning until they're all just extracted. Relax. Or until you do. Play a part in it. Most of them were lost through bleeding and excretion, but around 30% still remain inside your body, That's attached enough. to your cells. Not finished yet. The first generation were never ID registered, so they don't react in the same way as the SOP nanomachines. Ready? But they may be interfering with your body and with your heart. Hmm. So, does the aging have something to do with Fox Die too? No. Your telomeres were intentionally set up to be short, regardless of the age of the original. One of the genes that inhibit reproduction and aging, the clotho gene, was intentionally mutated as well. But more importantly, your chromosomes, like liquids, were provided with terminator genes to prevent them from making copies. Terminator. Why? Your clones created for one purpose, war. And so, in order to prevent you from being abused by clients or stolen by the enemy, they shortened your lifespan and removed your ability to reproduce. It was a safety device to ensure that the seed of Big Boss didn't end up in the hands of others. The reason you're aging so rapidly isn't because of disease or faulty research or fox die. Or a snake. It's how you were born. It's your natural lifespan. Or snake.
I'll never get a chance. One sec. I have to use the bathroom really quick. Don't just pause and take one. It'll be forever. Hello, gamer. Oof. The truth may owe me. How long is my body going to hold out? Your cells. Thank you, Samuel. Organs, nerves, skeletal system, muscle tissue. Every part of your body is aging rapidly. An ordinary man wouldn't even be standing by now. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. How long do I have? Half a year. Oh. Don't. Snake. There's something I have to tell you. Uh, now what? You and I both know your body is approaching its limit. But when I said half a year, I wasn't talking about your lifespan. What do you mean? We can't get rid of the fox dye in your body completely. At this point, it's circulating within you like a normal virus. Yeah, so? Listen to me. Fox dye only kills its victims when the infected person's genetic code fully matches the genetic sequence programmed into the virus's receptors. In other words, it only attacks targets with specific genes. I know. That's what killed the AT president. And Liquid. Yes. And at the same time, it's set up to protect those not designated as targets from the virus's harmful effects. Here. I'll show you. The receptors on the fox dye inside your body are breaking down. The rapid aging process is changing the environment within your body. As a result, the virus is starting to mutate. The viruses on the left are fox dye in its original form. The ones on the right I took from your body. They're already mutated. The receptors. They're wearing down. Meaning? This mutated version of fox dye could activate even if the infected person's genetic pattern doesn't perfectly match the receptors. Which means the virus is becoming indiscriminate about what type of target it kills. Ever since Shadow Moses, fox dye has been breeding continuously in the nanomachine colony inside your body and dispersing into the air. But there are no more targets to attack, so there haven't been any more outbreaks. Uh -huh. However, if the receptors continue to wear down, it'll become a killer virus that attacks untold numbers of victims. What if we kill them all? Remove them from the body? There are no antibodies. Thank you, batteries. I don't know what percentage of the receptors have to break down, or how many people will be targeted when that happens. But what is certain is that people will begin to catch fox dye through airborne transmission. It'll start with those closest to you. Then, one by one, they'll lose their lives. Patient zero. The part of the virus that distinguishes between individuals will start to break down in about... Half a year. No. Three months at the most. Three months? Ironic, isn't it? You've spent your entire life saving the world from Metal Gear, from nuclear annihilation. And now, you're becoming a doomsday device yourself. I can't predict exactly how devastating the epidemic will be. 
Whether just one percent of the human race could unlock the broken receptors, or whether we all can. In either case, three months from now you'll be a walking biological weapon. If it were up to me, you'd be quarantined already. <sighs> it's not over yet. Heard that no. before. You still have a job to do. You have three months. Still enough time to think once all of this is done with. And if I choose death first, will that stop Fox Die from spreading? When the host dies, the virus dies with it. Snake, tell me one more thing. Have you been to a hospital lately? Yeah. While you were there, did they give you an injection? Don't they always? Take a look at this. These came out of your body as well. It's a new strain of fox dye, one I've never seen. Someone must have put them in you recently. Do you have any idea who? Him. The new fox dye strain is starting to multiply rapidly. What's in it? I can't say for sure. I'll need to do some more tests. Here, take this. It contains the. It was hard to see. Was that supposed to be Draven? I assume. Inside their bodies. It's a drug that inhibits the nanomachine's ability to regulate the senses. The nanomachines inside the body malfunction when the system interferes with them. It triggers a reaction in the body, which is why you're having the seizures. Give yourself a shot whenever they get bad. It's potent, so use it sparingly, unless you want to end up an invalid. It may restore your psych for a short while, but use it too often and the amount restored will start to decrease. This cutscene's a long one. I've been a fool. I let myself drown in my nanomachines and now I'm trapped by them. You said yourself, we mustn't allow ourselves to be chained to fate. I can't slip free. Then I'll free us both. Where's Liquid? I can't tell you yet. Not until you free me. Do you even know? Liquid left here last night. Where was he headed? Those are my terms. I can't leave this place of my own will. What are you talking about? I'm being... watched. <sighs> Liquid has altered his plan. Removing the system will only cause his army to collapse from within. So he's chosen to seize control instead. Liquid's objective is to hijack the SOP system. He'll use it to create the ultimate army of perfect soldiers and launch his insurrection against the Patriots. There's a name for his new plan. He calls it Guns of the Patriots. Guns of the Patriots? Ah! 
Get him, sir. Enemies and her. I remember this took me a long time to figure out when I first played. There's a locker right there, though. You're surrounded, Snake. You'll have to break through to go after Naomi. Take out those enemy soldiers and clear a path. Uh, no, I'm not playing in one sitting. My brain can't handle that kind of... Oh, crazy, dude. Let's shoot up. No! Oh, old snake. All that for a playboy. for a playboy. I have three of those? Holy shit. Thank you, Lipix. Thank you, Barry Burton's weapon. Thank you, Poison. Alright, is it killing time now? <laughs> Why, Wu Tug? Epic track. Oh wait, bosses give track or track bosses give rewards. Okay. I should have asked. to drink them all. Oh, so it's already GG. Oh, 
Oh, you mean track all the bosses in the game. That's what you mean? Okay, that's a lot of damage, bruh. Dude, this does like nothing! Oh, thank God, there's this. I don't have enough! Can I sell stuff? Too poor, yeah. I can't sell stuff. Oh, I have like 20 stun grenades. <clears throat> He's still in here. Hey! Why? Oh wait, I was pressing the wrong button. Snake! Where is she, Snake? Oh, there she is. That's... That's okay, Dan. Or... Okay. He's got weird footprints. What's wrong with me? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I don't have to track her until... Unless I want a useless doll. Oh, okay. So I don't have to do this until later. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about the solar gun. Because I'm not, like, I'm never going to play this game again, probably. So, so, I can kill her for now and then, uh, stun her in the second phase, right? Okay. Because I like it's going to take forever. Bruh. Is that her hands or is it? I get higher FPS with. trying. Look at the FPS when we're in night vision.
Lady? Oh, there's Rogaine over here. Look at the FPS. It's beautiful. Alright, let's go look for her now. Lady? I'm trying, bruh. That was you. Guys, that was her. I hear you. I do like no damage. It's okay, the missing. I think we already know. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot I had an RPG. It might not do a ton of damage though. Oh yeah, and there's claymores too. Lady! Ugh. Hey, that does good damage. Did it work? Ah. We're doing it. Yeah, it's just like RE4. Sick, dude. Just like RE4. I like the music. This is actually a pretty cool fight. Oh my god, the dead zone on the PS4 controller making snakes slow down all the time is brutal. Brutal. Oops. You're not him. That was loud as shit. Ugh. Ugh. I see you. Ah, 
iframes? I did hit her once when she was in that mist. Why? It's another mimic. Watch out, snake. I know. Snake. Cool, young bro. That's awesome. Happy to hear it. Thank you, Serena, for the tier two and the thirty-six. And thank you, I'm a big DB. Thank you. Now we trank her. Goop. No, it's not funny. Nothing is funny. I shouldn't be laughing. I can't. The truth is. I'm not laughing. <laughs> not laughing at all. <gasps> right for me. I, I shouldn't be laughing. I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry I laughed. I'm sorry. Oh, good lady. I won't laugh anymore. I can't. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Snake, she's shed her suit. Who knows what she'll throw at you next? Watch out! I know, I got something to throw. Oh, for God's sakes, dude! No, she, no, she is psychic. She threw that back at me. You guys seen. Oh my god, it does so much.
Sticky broccoli. We take. Your snake, looking good today. Rabin. Rabin, what do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo? That camo skull cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. So we got this because we did the, the kind of technology prank kill? Camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't ah. fit. It's not my size or shape. Yeah, looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work, but... Ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Hmm. Somebody's done their homework. Hey, is my job. Is that the real reason you injected me with those nanomachines? To spy on me? I prefer oh, but now you got her face as the camo, the too. Oh, I see. Driven. Relax. It's strictly confidential. Rip it. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. Then what did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. Right. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. <sighs> she just kept on laughing. Now, why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village in Scandinavia. Little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. Rabbit. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Anyway, there's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up Orza. all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They Man. had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. Mm -hmm. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill them. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no. They'd kill her too. So she let fear take control. And did exactly as they told her. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved. And laughed while she did it. And as she bathed in their blood. It gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her. It looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only, that ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? No. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Right? In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? Fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back.
Oh, hell yeah. Ah, uh, once. Ooh, yeah, squid ink pasta. Snake, have you lost sight of the target? Whenever something moves, it leaves a trail behind. Track and find Naomi's trail. I'm not like Big Boss. Tracking isn't my strongest suit. When did you get so good at it? After saving Sunny, I drifted around the globe. In Alaska, a tribal elder taught me some scouting techniques. Drifted? You never went back to see Rose? Rose? She doesn't exist. No. Rose and I live in different worlds, different times. Her world has no place for someone like me. My place is here on the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Listen, Snake. Scouting is based on the principles of hunting. There are two fundamentals. Awareness and tracking. Awareness? Awareness refers to locating a trail by paying careful attention to your surroundings. Tracking means to follow that trail. Your target's trail could be footprints, a branch they broke along the way, bent grass trampled underfoot. You need to feel for clues using all your senses. Sound, smell, touch, the direction of the wind. Watch how the animals move. Listen for unusual bird calls. These are signs that someone may be disrupting the environment nearby. You sound like a ninja. Exactly. Ninja are the ultimate scouts. If your enemy is a skilled scout, they'll be doing the same thing. You may be the hunter, but you are also the hunted. To avoid enemy detection, move slowly, little by little. Okay. Don't disturb the air around you. Try to make as little noise as possible. Your pursuers will be doing the same, trying to sneak up on you without a sound. If you can't pick up the trail with your naked eye, switch the solid eye to infrared mode. That will enable you to see Naomi's footprints and any enemies lying in ambush. Switch the solid eye to infrared. Got it. But the sound it makes while engaged could end up giving your position away. So don't leave it on for too long. It's okay. I'll be all running right. through them all anyway. Listen to your heart. Trust your senses as much as you can. And you will find Naomi's trail. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it also boosts your FPS, which is Snake. the best part. Yeah, one second. Can you give me time to breathe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
There they go. Don't disturb the air around me. He is quiet as a cricket. Got it. Snake, the trail splits up into multiple directions. Look closely at the footprints. I see. Ladies' prints. Small. Crashing. What? Wait, I went around. Oops. Does it split up into two? Oh look, enemy spotted. All right, people. Thank you, Embrace. Thank you. Where'd he go? Looks like they split up here. Where's the little shoes? Grab it. You think that could be Naomi's? That's Naomi's, all right. What is that? Oh. Yeah, that could be Naomi's. True, true. What? He should be asleep. Wait, what's he looking at? Route. No way, dude. Yeah, Playboy. All right. Oops. This route will work. I know it will. Master key. Oh, cool. Got gun. Something happened Something to me last Thursday, Thursday when I was driving, driving home. home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. 
Suddenly, suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I came to, I was home. I was home. Nice. The crop circle. Okay, we'll figure out what's going on. Is it the aliens? is giving your position away. Take cover, Snake! What? We're under attack! Well... It's the enemy! It's the enemy! Oh my god, can you go, dude? No, it's just me. Good ladies. What the fuck? Any pigs? Oh, this is a unique camo. Just sleeping. Good. Surprised I don't say anything about this. Nothing to say? Guess not. Look at us. The hell's that? Drab it. Mr. Snake. Oh my god. Wait, what are those? Shoes. Where did the shoeless prince start? Is 
There's no bare feet prints. There's a helicopter though. With a copter. I'm confused. Baloney sandwich is this? This is Naomi. Here. I'm over here. Save me. Save me. Save me. Hey, I hear some items. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Yeah, I'm coming. Save me. Save me. That's a trick? Save me. What? Save me. That's baloney. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Where is she, guys? I now just screwed. I think I screwed myself pretty hard. Should have followed the shoe area, but. Oh, we're back. They must have gone separate ways here. The hands. Oh, yeah. The footprints go in different directions. Bruh. I don't want to see what's over here. I hope this isn't the way we just went. I'm noticing more footprints now. Security's getting tighter. We could be getting close to Naomi. Yeah. Founder. I don't like that the cam the face camo stays on for the cutscenes. Or is it even better? Crank him.
as you wish. We'll begin shortly. Go ahead. Begin. We'll use his blood. It could get intense. Brace yourselves. Shots, all of you. Yes, sir. I'll be taking in. Oh, man. Take your thing, buddy. The Drabmeister? Okay, that was a weird transition. Snake didn't bother catching her. He's old. I want to see old Leon. This game is the most only cutscene game ever. Let's make it up and go bananas.
No, I'm talking real old Leon, like dentures. Snake. What the shit? I'm bringing the chopper to the other side of the market up ahead. That's as close as I can get. Wait. You've got to make it to the market somehow. Hey, look. It's just like. It's just like I ever saw three. Snake, to fire the machine, stand next to it and press the action button. Then use the right stick to aim and press the attack button to fire. Zombie! Who am I supposed to hit? Anyone? Oh shit! Powered suits are in our way. Take them out, Snake. I'm trying. There are two in front of me. You guys don't seem to feel any pain. Yeah. Small arms won't do you much good. Large caliber weapon ought to do the trick. Use the machine gun. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you. Press the action button, Snake. Can you? Better off using this gun. Rabin! I think there's one behind me still alive, and it's destroying me. Stop it! I wrote myself a death sentence. Oh, you bastard! You're killing old snake! Please! Oh no. Rewind. Or reload. That works too. Go! Who keeps yelling that? Is that Drevin? Got an MTS on my ass. Oh shit! Ah, uh, this is probably a bad. Oh shh. Oh 
open. I did. I gotta do a lot of things, don't I? Look at me thinking of all start. And it's failing. The gate! Snake! Shoot the gate! I am! I don't know if an RPG is the best thing for this. Okay. Ah, uh, it doesn't work in this one, Kaiser. As far as I know. Nope. They fixed it. Buddy. Oh my god, dude. Please. Where are we going? Hello. Out of my way. That's it, moving. Hang on. It's gonna get bumpy. Yeah, the turn speed for the gun is horrific. One at a time. Okay. Hold on tight. Almost there. You can do it. We can do it, Snake. Okay. Don't worry, that bad section is followed up with, at least I think. No, no, no! Trace of all times for the game capture to cut out. Go on, get out of here. Can you move? 
Yes. Uh. You go, girl. Let's go. That man is as good as his feet. Imagine if they redeemed Steve like this from Code Veronica. He comes back as half bioweapon, half Steve. What the? I can, I I play here? Now's your chance to make an escape. Move it, people! Oh my God, there must be a lot of noodles around here. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. The chickens! Run! Just a little farther. Run, my little guys! Run! Run! Run, chickens! Oh, oh my god! Run! Oh, 
Autocon, get us out of here. Where's Raiden? Still fighting. What the hell is Vamp doing? Yeah. God. The attention to detail is really good. He gets a dance. <laughs> Dude. The choreography is actually like fucking insane. This is actually one of the best cutscenes in like any any game ever. You got Goku. Raditz.
He busted a flip phone. Are you sure After that cutscene, come on, man. It's all part of the plan. The test was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, it's not pure enough. Yeah, that does look like a razor. The PMCs we deployed had suffered brain damage. Nothing salvageable remains. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. I know that. Working as fast as we can to find their hiding place. I need you here too, Vamp. <laughs> Ryan imitating the helicopter sound there. Vamp, he's got to be immortal. No. He's not immortal at all. It was my design that caused his body to be like that. Huh? What do you mean? The nanomachines in his body caused his wounds to close and heal at an accelerated rate. Someone took the basic nanomachine technology I once researched and perfected it. In a sense, I'm responsible for Vamp. Why is it white? One of my because... You know what? I'm gonna be it's honest. It's probably it's because machines. Kojima loves the movie Alien and Aliens. And the androids in that have white blood. That's right, I'll guess. Hold him down. He's losing too much blood. Can you save him? I don't know. He needs a blood transfusion. No, an infusion of artificial blood. Snake, right? Big mama. Go install chapter three. Okay, Ryden, I will. I will. What a game. This, God, this needs a frickin' port. Installing the game every chapter. Whew. I know you can install it in the main menu, but... Nothing happened. Welcome to Rebel Gear Solid 4. Why not take a break? It's been over three hours since you started the game. Look. No, I'm not playing Metal Gear Solid 5. No, 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 I don't want to. I would make it a sub goal, but I'll purposely make the goal very hard to reach. I did say that about this game, but this game is like I could beat it in like two streams. 20k? There we go. Yeah, I played Grand Ground Zeroes. It was really fun. Hmm. 
I have ground zeros on uh on the YouTube guys on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right. Beep. Oh, thank you. Tacos for dinner. Are you still here? Tacos! Thank you, Steve. Tacos! Thank you, that one zombie, for the 16 months. Tacos! Tacos! Okay. I have to message Taco. Tasted eggs? Now, let it cook for one minute. You like cooking, don't you? Good for you. This is my sunny side up fortune telling. Um, when it turns out good, it means something good is gonna happen. Uh huh. So that's why you don't cook them over easy. On this outrageous statement, she's telling her. But the secret to good cooking is to keep who's going to eat it in mind. That's true. Uh -oh. She told her how to make a basted egg. Oh. Is this your mother? She's really beautiful. That tune you were humming, it's from the periodic table, isn't it? <clears throat> Thorium, protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, americium, ah, uh, curium, curium. <laughs> Curium. That's it. Curium. <laughs> <laughs> Opium. Yeah. Oh, this? <laughs> Opium, too. May I? Thank you, and that one. Guardium? See, Sonny? Us girls have to look our best. Her name was Olga. Hmm? My mother. Shit. Tasted eggs. We did a great job. Oh, did I? <laughs> 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 
Dr. Emmerich, Liquid is in Eastern Europe. He's after the corpse of Big Boss. Huh? What for? It's the final key he needs to gain access to SOP. The keys to the system are Big Boss's genetic code oh. and biometric data. Without them, there's no way to gain access. Wait, what's Liquid been doing all this time? He's been performing tests. Two tests. The first, using the genetic code from Liquid's DNA chip. In his second attempt, he used the DNA code and biometric data extracted from Snake's blood. What's the need for the original if a substitute works just as well? Neither your genetic pattern, nor Liquid's genetic pattern, is a 100% match for Big Bosses. Thank you, Art Man. Match. Typically speaking, there's the markers implanted in the cloning process. The mixing of mitochondrial DNA with egg cells. The molecular offering terminator. Terminator gene. Scientifically speaking. Both you and Liquid. It's PS3! Vincent? Jesus, that scared me. Your mother. My mother. Thank you, Night TV, for the five thousand bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. It's super generous. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. But Solidus is dead. Listen carefully, Snake. This is the most important part. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The AI that controls the system employs a highly aggressive, advanced IDS. It uses a special code to inspect all thank you, Viking. commands circulating within the network. Any data that fails to conform to that code is treated as a foreign object and expunged, like viruses killed by white blood cells. Expunged. The authentication program this IDS uses is based on the genetic identification program, one I helped develop for Foxdie. It's set up so that host commands only execute properly if the key matches perfectly. However, if the IDS suspects someone is trying to break into the system, it registers that genetic code on a blacklist. That code is then blocked and can never again be used to access the system. So, if you're going to use a substitute, you need to find a new genetic access code with each new trial. So when Liquid accessed the system in the Middle East and South America, it was only a test. I can't believe this. Snake and Big Boss don't have the same genetic code? Strictly speaking, Snake and Liquid aren't the same either. Which is why Fox Die only affected Liquid at Shadow Moses. And spared you. Let's put it this way. If Liquid uses Big Boss's genetic code, the original, they'll have the system completely under his control. Hold on. I thought having his code wasn't enough. You need his biometric data at the same time, don't you? That's right. 
And Big Boss is already dead. Yeah. No. He's alive. Big Boss is alive. His body is. Or rather, his cells. That's impossible. Big Boss survives as a biomort. A brain dead shell sustained in the lab. Liquid has already left for Europe. It's the snake from Metal Gear Solid 3. Right from the start, he knew his experiment in South America wasn't going to work. Europe, huh? If Liquid obtains the body, he'll be primed to make his final move. Mm, allowing him total control of the system. Exactly. Unless we can stop him first. <laughs> yeah, beards. Mm hmm. You guys like in the movie? the R&D race. No. <laughs> it's not just the PMCs either. Every corporation tethered to the military industrial complex is losing its sense of morality. And it's us science holics who are doing their dirty work for them. Not even realizing it. Can we make Jack better? I don't know. Sunny. May I? Thank you, Ator. It's no use. There's nothing we can do here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Look at this. Type, type, type. Type, 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 type. His artificial blood needs dialysis. We don't have the proper equipment. Dialysis? Getting his wounds healed is important too. But at this rate, he's not going to last that long. Dialysis. Is that like what k kidneys do? That's right. Raiden's blood is an older type of artificial blood that was used by the military. Called white blood. After it's Holy been crap. in use for a while, the blood needs to be dialyzed. Filtered. Right now, he's slipping into autotoxemia. Thank you, Ankin. It's there in Europe. He knows what to do. What do you mean? Where? The 
same place Liquid went. <laughs> Dr. Magnar... He saved my life. <laughs> Dr. Magnar... I've heard of him. A world-renowned cybernetics expert. Strictly underground, though. We're in luck, then. It's settled. We must head for Europe. The sooner we get there, the better. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll call Campbell and have him get us landing clearance. <laughs> oh, a Snake! Where are you going? I'm gonna be spewing out poison soon enough anyway. What's one more smoke gonna hurt? Uh-uh. This is Thank a you, no Swifter. smoking flight. Stupid kid. Video too. a little close to the screen. Oh, Who's never this? mind. He's not. Oh, her? That's my sister. Really? I never knew you had a sister. For a moment, I thought she might have been your girlfriend. No, I, I don't have a... I... Emma was a brilliant programmer. She wrote the worm that destroyed the Arsenal Gear AI. Then, Vamp killed her. I'm so sorry. No, there's nothing for you to be sorry for. Or me. Thank you, asshole. I used to be an anime otaku. Uh oh. Ah. So, that's where Otacon comes from. I was always fascinated by sci-fi anime. That's what got me into this line of work. It's too bad reality wasn't so simple. I never even imagined that science, that my own research, could cause so much misery. Oh. I mean, That's it's not like a science holics or Satanists or anything. But even when we've got the best of intentions, we end up being used by others for evil. Dr. Emmerich, I... Uh, you see this? Sonny helped me build it. <laughs> really? Sonny helped build this? We built it using top secret docs and patents dug up from intranets at a bunch of research labs. To tell you the truth, I think she's better at it than I am. But she's just a child. She cracked the protection on your mail. Well, well, 
I um, assumed it was you. <laughs> Sunny was taken by the Patriots right after she was born. She never even met her parents. She's spent her entire childhood inside the net. That's why she has trouble speaking. Her home is in the computer. That's she can us. Only see the outside from the inside. She's always in there, searching for herself, searching for her family. She's trying to find out who she is and where she's going. Is us. Searching for herself and her family. She believes she can find the answers inside a machine hooked up to the world. She spends every day inside the net, exploring. For Sunny, this is home. No, it shouldn't be like that. What? It's time you let her go outside. What are you talking about? She hasn't even been born yet. She's still in the womb. She needs to live a real life. Yeah, she needs to touch but grass as what sand base. She's never shown any interest in leaving the nomad. Frankly, I'm worried about letting her go out there. I have a feeling she'll do just fine. You really think she'll be okay going outside? That's not what I meant. I think she's got a good handle on her science. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry. Go on. Huh? You were about to say something. Oh. Uh, right. Um, would you mind if I helped Sunny with her cooking? Oh, of course not. Go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, about all we've got on board besides military rations are eggs. No. Leave the moth. It makes you look handsome. <laughs> you think so? Got a compliment. How's he supposed to see? He doesn't need to now. Uh, uh, Dr. Emmerich? Huh? Is it okay to sleep in there? Uh, excuse me? Well, Dr. Emmerich, um, I, I know it's easy to forget sometimes. Or breezy in there. I am a woman. You understand. Sorry. I... I know it's selfish of me, but I'd like to... Oh my god, there's... Right. I like how they're being, like, insanely awkward. Chickens! Liquid and solid. Oh, yes. uncomfortable or anything just let me know uh, I'll be out there working <laughs> thank you oh 
Uh, and, uh... Yes? Uh, call me now. <laughs> yes, he's gotta watch his step. Good night. Good night, Hal. Guys, he's a Sigma male. He's focusing on his work. He did nearly have a heart attack, though. Never mind. Oh my god. Thank you, Orky Woo. We got the briefing. Gameplay. All right. Well, we got to go through like eight more cutscenes and a few more codec calls. This is a shorter name, act, right? A national state of emergency has been declared in an effort to root out the local resistance. The hunt is being carried out by U.S.-based PMC, Raven Sword, Short. one of the companies under Outer Heaven's control. Ow. Which means that liquid's lurking somewhere behind the scenes. Short in right. gameplay. And at the top of the target list is the Paradise Lost Army. The resistance group led by Big Mama. Big Mama! Snake, you'll be infiltrating the region where they are believed to house their base of operations. It looks as if the PMCs moved swiftly, cutting off Big Mama and company's escape routes. They should still be hiding somewhere in that area. Big Boss's corpse is bound to be with them. You've been added to the PMC's blacklist, so you're going to have to lie about your identity to get in. I've provided you with a way to evade the checkpoints. Make contact with the Resistance and find Big Mama. This is our last chance. Wait, do I have a old we snake must face reach on? Big Boss's body before they do. Or young? I'm pretty sure this is actually a stealth mission. Next. 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 Don't be suspicious already. You get your ass in the machine. Hey, are you deaf? Take him away. <laughs> oh my god, he's he's me. being ridiculous. Take him from here. But we've been looking for this man. 
God, one second. One sec, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Yes, ma'am. Come with me. Buff. Come with me. Next. Hmm. Wish I got this before. I guess there's probably like a million more cutscenes. There better be. Yeah, chicken korma. You're looking younger. What's your secret? Solid Snake is gonna meet face camo. A little present from tentacles. Huh. Oh. Oh. The PMCs sure seem to know you well enough. You may not believe it, but I'm in charge of overseeing all PMC activity. Ruined. Having connections can still open doors. You alone. It's his hero. Hey, ah, buddy, we're trying to be undercover. What is wrong with that guy? Listen to me, Snake. After reporting what happened in the Middle East to my superiors, I wrote up a threat assessment. The president's finally realized the danger Liquid's little rebellion poses and has called for immediate action. Now I've got more bodies than I know what to do with. A whole joint Army Marines team. They're already on site, mixed in with the U.S. forces here. We're ready to strike Liquid at any time. That seems like slow motion. You're planning to take him by force crazy look things aren't that simple <sighs> listen old man i don't take oh. orders from you or from your colonel campbell uh, it's gonna be the middle east all over again old no, man it won't if things get out of hand we can put a total lockdown on the pmc's weapons they won't be able to how can this back. part not handle the fps forget, we control the system i wouldn't rely too much on the system if i were you We've got them beat in sheer numbers. Meryl. Look, Snake. Just leave this to me. There's no need for you to I love Meryl's design on this. She looks really fucking cool. You risk your life for no reason. Snake. What you're trying to do, it's not a mission. I know. It's not justice. It's a hired hit. If you know, then... <coughs> Look, our ways of thinking might be different, but to me, there, you're Grandpa. Still a legend, a hero. I know all about the things you did when you were young. It was what kept me going. I can't bear to watch you die over something so pointless. <sighs> Don't worry about me. Old soldiers never die. <clears throat> oh. Your cause is our cause now. You don't have to do this. I'm no hero. Never was. I'm just an old killer. Hired to do some wet work. <sighs> Fine. Then we'll just have to catch him. Before you do. I may have loved you once, but 
now you're just too damn senile to face the truth. Wake up <clears throat> and face reality, old snake. And stay out of our way. No! You know she went too far. Oh, Johnny. <clears throat> Otacon, they've seen this face too. Yeah, it might have been added to the PMC's blacklist as well. And Merrill was acting kind of strange. Things are going to get hairy once the American suppression troops get here. We'd better get to Big Boss's corpse, and fast. But first, we've got to find Big Mama. Snake, let's go over what we know so far. The streets are under curfew. The only people you'll find out there now are PMC soldiers and members of the Resistance. Yeah, I thought it looked a little too quiet to be a tourist attraction. The Resistance members are scheduled to convene at Big Mama's hideout. Big Mama! So the best <clears throat> course of action is to follow their lead. When you find the Resistance, tail them. Let them lead you to Big Mama. But how exactly am I supposed to find this Resistance? The PMCs have laid a dragnet for resistance members that covers the entire town. They're using SOP to notify each other by radio of any info collected during their searches. By intercepting those signals, you should be able to reach the resistance members' locations in real time. Intercept their communications? How do I do that? I've provided you with a new device for just that purpose. To hijack PMC communications, open the item window, and select the signal interceptor. Hey. The interceptor constantly monitors PMC voice and data transmissions. When you've got the signal interceptor equipped and you hear the PMC's chatter about the resistance, check your map. It should display the location. Got it. Oh, and Snake, I think we've found a way to treat Raiden. Really? Yeah, we got in touch with Dr. Madnar. Naomi and Sonny are on their way now. They'll be all right on their own. They're a few clicks north of where you are now. It's a non-combat zone, so there won't be any checkpoints. There's even a dialysis machine. It'll take some time, but I think he'll be okay. Good. Anyway, you need to hurry and make contact with Big Mama. I got it. If Liquid gets his hands on that corpse, we know. it's all over. Follow the Resistance's lead. We know, buddy. Anything else? Any other cutscenes? <clears throat> can't I just... Can't I just... Can't I just do this, guys? They won't know who I am. <clears throat> Wait, does it work? <sighs> Never. You found a resistance member. It's time to start tailing them. Get on it, Snake. 
Snake, the location of a resistance member has been forwarded to your map. Check it out. No, <clears throat> I don't want to open my map. Where? How far away are they? Holy shit. Or am I that? Oh, is it just the X's? Was just eat. I'm done now. Okay. Game time. Gamers in the club. Ugh. Gamers in the club. Let's go. Hey, everybody. All right. Oh, wait. It gives me a legend. I didn't even see that. Block path, snake, resistance. Ah, right, okay. Let's go, people. Maybe I want to put my knife away. troops. Isn't there something you can do to help Snake? I think there is. Just kidding, guys.
You didn't see that before? The hell was I supposed to do? Thank you, Nether Dracarys. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. And thank you, Nether. Thank you, Wicked Affliction. Go! Oh! <sighs> Maybe I gotta do some of my foot fancy footwork. Got him! I spotted his weapon to sell to Drabin. PMC on your map. Guys in the chat, trivia time, what's PMC stand for? Private Military Corporation. Hell yeah, dude. He's nuts, hey! Watch the can. The hell are you doing? They got leaky. He leaked it. Oops. How's he going? Act natural, everybody. <clears throat> The interceptor has analyzed a PMC data transmission. It's marked the location of a resistance member on your map. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. Thank you, Tank. Where the hell do you go? Thank you, Eerie, as well. Thank you. Look, guys, I'm enjoying a stealth. A forced stealth section. <clears throat> I'm going all out just this once. Thank you, Eerie. I 
how far back are we if we fail this? Shit, wait. He's baiting us. What this what is this route he's taking? <clears throat> Why do it these matter? The of a resistance member on your map. Can't I just follow this guy? Oh! Yeah, the radio. Oops, I have... Whatever. <clears throat> Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh shit! Woo. Mission possible. Oops. Oh shit! Oh! Sleep, 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 sleep. A bait? No, no. Say out of what light? I don't see it. We need to go, people. Oh fuck! Thank you, Shakara. Thank you, thank you. You're good, buddy. Keep going. Snake, find some way to free him. I did. Where the hell are you going? The alternate route. <clears throat> what? How stupid are you? Don't you dare run back here. Every time I see the crows, I think dead by daylight. Like, oh shit, the crows found me. Where'd he go? Where in the actual hell did he go? Dude! Where is he? Oh shit.
Is this it? Did we beat it? This is it. Big Mama, you in here? Oh, I see what happened. Wait, I could get to work. Okay. Alright, wake up. <clears throat> I got places to be. For me. There's something fishy about that PMC trooper. Do you hear whistling? Who's that? Oh, uh, uh, just a classic snake. Oh shit! This classic snake. Let's go, bro. <clears throat> Not don't come up here either. I slept them a long time ago. You gotta go. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? That isn't the crow perk. I'm not trying to walk, it's this stupid controller. Forwarded to your map. Check it out. Thank you.
Yeah, Munchie, it's so stupid. Like, I, that better not make it onto live servers. But they can't. They're like, oh, we're gonna nerf Nurse finally because she's too powerful in the right hands. And then now she's more powerful. It's like, okay. <clears throat> Are you guys good? Jesus Christ. Looks like they're conducting vehicle patrols. No! Watch out for them, Snake. No! Better not be right there. Oh. Shit. Go, you pooper! Guys, he's being such a pooper. Can't resist. Oh shit, they're waking him up. Go! Get, 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 get! Scram, you fucking... Oh shit. Go, you stupid... Oh fuck. Where are they? Gotta make a break for it. We did it! Go! Dude! Should I change now? Should I change now? Into... My normal man? Thank you, Riki. We're here. I was about to go back into my box. <sighs> Old Snake versus Hitman. Hey, have you guys ever watched the horror movie Stepfather? The Stepfather? There's four of them. Guess not. Thank you guys. Did you like the sneak? Did you like me doing a stealth section? Who's there? I'm here to see Big Mama. Is this the guy? What do you think? I didn't hear him coming at all. He oh! Oh, those are so sick. Look at him. He's ancient. He's ancient? Oh, yeah?
The apple. But seriously, Big Mama, guys. Very impressive, CQC Snake. No doubt about it. He is the legendary soldier. Call me Mama. Big Mama. Hell yeah, dude. It's Ava. <gasps> from, from Metal Gear Solid 3. It was you, not I, who was created from the rib of man. But I gave you life. I am your mother. What? Les enfants terribles. You can't grow a human being in a test tube, not even a clone. You need a woman's body to give it life. You mean... My mother. A surrogate mother. That's an awfully cold way to put it. I am your mother. I gave birth... for the Patriots. Gave... birth? Oh, the forbidden fruit. Adam and Eve. Thank you, Sam. Very generous. Thank you. Follow me. I'll explain everything. The man who wants me dead is Liquid, your twin. You think you know him, but I know him better. He was once Ocelot, but Liquid has taken control of his soul. Wait, how long and is this cutscene? in a bitter struggle with Zero. Holy shit, I've been streaming for eight hours already? The founder of the Patriots. Oh! Founder? When did this happen? 40 years ago. Here we go, guys. Tinfoil hats. Look, I got one. During the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were still at arms, it was in that chaotic era that the Patriots were born. And I played my part. I was one of the founding members. You. Zero created the Patriots to manage and control the American state. That control endured long after the Cold War ended. The organization... I don't want to be distracting. Empty shell, ...continuing to function through AIs. Now I have garlic Those butter on my hat. ...are responsible for the creation of the war economy, and they gave rise to the Sons of the Patriot system. But I am partly to blame. I bear some of the guilt for creating the organization. It was right after I first met your father. Flashbacks! <gasps> show! 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 Back in 1964, I was ordered to take part in a CIA op called Operation Snake Eater, which concerned a new weapon the Soviets were developing at the time. My mission was to support a certain agent. That agent later became Big Boss, but I knew him as Snake. Snake? Yes, Naked Snake. That was his code name at the time. A name he would give to you, his son. The commander of this mission was a man called Zero, the head of Special Forces Unit Fox. Back then, I was working as a double agent for the Chinese. My objective was to secure the location of the Philosopher's Legacy, a massive cache of hidden wealth. 
and report it to Beijing. I was to acquire a microfilm showing the location of secret funds, funds amassed by the Allied powers during World War II. But I failed in my mission and was expelled from China. Music. I took the apple from the snake and was cast out of Eden. After years on the run, I ended up in Hanoi. That's where I met him again. It was around then that Zero used the massive funds contained in the Philosopher's Legacy to start a new organization, the Patriots, which would carry out the final wishes of a certain legendary hero. The initial membership consisted of Big Boss, Sigint, Paramedic, and their commander, Zero. Oh, and there was one more who we mustn't forget. He stayed behind in the Soviet Union to support the group as an informant, Ocelot who is now liquid. After your father rescued me in Hanoi, I went to America and joined their organization. Zero's goal was to achieve a unity of thought and awareness. He believed that was what the boss wanted, and the rest of the Patriots followed his lead. The boss? The boss was a legendary hero from the Second World War, known as the mother of special forces. She had an almost overwhelming charisma about her. The CIA feared this, so they had her eliminated. If she had survived, the world of the 21st century might have been a very different place. We were all influenced by the boss's will. It was what drove us to create this organization, to be closer to that spirit. Zero decided that in order to lead the people, we needed a special kind of icon. So we turned to Big Boss, the last son of the boss. He shared more of her life than anyone else. It was Big Boss, the true heir to her legacy, who was best suited to play this role. So there, by the way, there... Oh God, I'm always afraid of this kind of skip. They're extra explaining, like giving you a lot of exposition on Metal Gear Solid 3, but in turn it's explaining some things that are... I don't know if they're unexplained, but I, I didn't get it. In... They're explaining some things that also are heavily to do with Metal Gear Solid 3, like the Patriots and everything. So it's just trying to help you understand the three games and and now where we are with this one. Zero Whether or not it's true or... The hero who saved the world. Oh wait, is my mic way louder than the game? Because like in, in the second Metal Gear Solid... Sorry, I'll turn it. In the second Metal Gear Solid, um, they talk about the Patriots so often, but they're like, how, how many people is it? It's, it says there, is there eight or 12 or how many does it say in Metal Gear Solid 2? But it's, a, they're always like these shadow people. You don't know any of them. And then at the end, you're led to believe that, um, they're, uh, they're all just AI, like uh, extinct men, 12 extinct men that no one knows anything about that made this super advanced AI that basically runs the world and, and keeps everything in check. Like a digital, uh, almost a digital, um, what's that thing the Americans worship? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. In a sense, it's, it's that. To the status of an idol. No. The truth behind no. the boss became no. with exaggeration. The, the thing, the piece of paper that's like written by dinosaurs. Zero disseminated these stories among the masses and gathered the rich and powerful to his banner. The Constitution, yeah. Or Declaration of Independence or whatever. Every era needs its symbols to control the people. Whether it be the stars and stripes. Or the hammer and sickle. It's not really a digital constitution, but it's an easy way to explain, like, the general idea. As the times and currents of politics changed, so too did Zero. Eventually, he became a prisoner of his own lust for power, sparking friction between him and Big Boss, who resented playing the puppet. With Big Boss drifting away, Zero realized he would need insurance. Something that would perpetuate the existence of Big Boss, their organization's icon. And so Zero secretly embarked on a new project. Oh yeah, okay, not worship, whatever. I, you know, you guys know, it's like, you know, it may as well be law. I, yeah, the outdated piece of paper, exactly. 
It's it's fine that you know whatever. It doesn't matter. I just know I didn't know how to word it really. Its goal was to create a clone of Big Boss, the ultimate soldier. The project was led by Dr. Clark, known at the time as Paramedic. After dozens of failures, they finally, miraculously, succeeded in producing a fertilized egg. The egg used in the successful in vitro fertilization came from Dr. Clark's assistant, a healthy Japanese woman. Blood. Okay, okay. Yikes. There are some fucking people that do worship it like it's a goddamn religion. So don't give me the yikes shit. It's true. And yeah, I'm, I'm aware there's some saint. There's mostly sane people in the chat that are understand what I'm talking about. And then there's like fucking disciples of a piece of paper. I'm aware that you guys treat it as a normal thing, like a normal countryman. Give birth to Big Boss. To realize this, I asked to serve as the surrogate mother and was more than happy to carry you in my womb. I loved him. Nine months later, I gave birth to two Big Bosses, you and Liquid. It didn't matter that you were clones, or that they had manipulated your DNA. You were born the same way as any other normal child, from your mother's womb. But Les Enfants Terribles proved to be the final straw for Zero and Big Boss. Determined to oppose Zero and his plans, Big Boss broke away from the Patriots. He left the States, created his own mercenary company, and drifted around the world. I'm sorry. Your father never wanted you. Human life isn't meant to be manipulated like that. I knew that, but I wanted you. After Big Boss left, Zero really lost control. What Zero wanted was an orderly world, one governed by rules. His fortune grew through countless wars, and his words influenced decision-making all the way up to the Oval Office. As the world saw the rise of digital technology, IT, the internet, and genetics, the Patriots' power grew immense. Their roots spread and took hold throughout the globe. In time, they began to dictate the fate of entire nations from the shadows. And before we knew it, the Patriots, the proud police of the world, started bringing an entire planet under their control. The save. Does Canada have its own? Uh, does Canada have its own constitution? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it doesn't matter if it does or not. Who cares in my eyes? Oh yeah, we have the charter or whatever it's called. But I don't know what's on the charter. Charter. It's called charter of something. No, it's, it's, what is it? Some of you took that uh, explanation of the Patriots and the Charter too serious. Charter of Rights and Freedoms. That sounds about right. Didn't Trudeau walk all over that Charter? I mean, maybe. That's sort of why I don't care, because, like, the Charter, this kind of thing, like, following what's on the dinosaur paper, whether it's America's, Canada's, or whoever else, it's it's not something everyone follows. It's something that not billionaires and higher-ups in the government have to follow. Everyone else could just do it or whatever the hell they want. So that's why I don't really respect it too much. Because the very people that are under the people that made it don't care either thank you pew pew well yeah i i i do follow the law uh because you're punished but it's not 
Canada's isn't just... I actually don't know what's on Canada's. You know what? Just for the sake of the game, let's see. Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Canada. Oh, well, wait. I'll say what's on the... Freedom of conscience and religion, thought, belief, opinion, and expression. Okay, so I'm allowed to be human. Peaceful assembly, freedom of association. <gasps> I'm allowed to be human. Oh, thank you, government. You allow me to be a human fucking being. <sighs> Let's see what else. I have rights. Oh, thank you. The right to live and seek employment. Sick. Life, liberty, and personal security. Yeah, where the fuck is that? Equality rights for all. Yeah, bullshit. Uh. Oh, I get access to Canada's multicultural heritage. Yeah. What else we got here? The right to vote. The right to vote for someone that shits all over it. Perfect. All right, let's see. Some House of Commons shit. The right to enter, remain in, and leave Canada. All right, so we're not North Korea. I can move to any province. That's sick. That's sick, honestly. Uh, okay. All right. I don't know what Americans is like, but this one's basically like you're allowed to be a human. Oh, if, just because it relates to the game. I mean, Metal Gear, a large part, part of Metal Gear Solid is politics. Not all of it, but. Generally, people think of these as like a political game. They, that is a, it is a game about politics, but it is also a game about family and emotions and relationships. And it dives down that a lot in like Metal Gear Solid 3 with Boss and Snake and like honoring your country as opposed to your family because Boss is basically considered family at that point. But people, when people refer to Metal Gear, they usually talk about the politics of it, but there is so much more to Metal Gear Solid. You can play these games and not care about politics, <clears throat> if you could tell the kind of person I am. I don't mean to offend anyone, by the way. I, and everyone can believe in what they want to believe in. Um, and everyone should just do what makes them happy and respect what they want to respect. Uh, I'm just sharing my own opinion, and you guys could disagree with it. That's all cool. And and everyone can disagree with me. And and as you guys should feel, I don't care. <laughs> and just as you don't shouldn't care about it's just like watching when i watch that i always refer to this the jimmy kimmel episode where he's like shitting on people that watch and play video games like it's like ridiculously stupid meanwhile he always talks about sports and like this it's like it's the exact same fucking thing apple like like why who cares like shut the fuck up By the way, I, I I don't even know why I'm giving some exposition. I think we're all all in the clear. I'm surprised. You know what's funny? I can just sit there and shit on Canadian ideals as I just did. Or, well, no, I didn't really shit on them, but laugh at, like, what we're supposed to follow. And because it's Canadian, <laughs> no one cares. Like, man, it's funny that, like, Canadian politics, like, no one gives a fucking rat's ass about it. I'm Canadian, by the way, if you can't tell. Um, and American, though, you know, you'll just spark massive debates and, and hatred. Uh, but, yeah. Again, there's not many Canadians here, but people just find it boring, which it sort of is. Okay, we ready to start again? Ugh.
Am I ready to press play? Yeah, it's just like, yeah, exactly. 50 states. There's so many more people there. And they're, the, the country's split up into 50 different places, which are all have their own mini uh, laws. They for not laws, but uh, whatever it's called. They all follow the laws made by who dictates that, st that particular state. It is a lot different in, in Canada. There's way less people, way less, way less, yeah, policy. Okay, I'm starting. Sorry, I just didn't want people to argue while this cutscene was going on because it's like one of the most important cutscenes in the game. Execution was flawed. Zero developed weapons, amassed armies, used information for extortion, all in order to gain more wealth. He was obsessed with controlling awareness on the inside from the outside. But I cannot imagine that's what the boss would have wanted. I failed political science in high school. They both misinterpreted her will. Because I wrote fan fictions about Star Wars and Dragon Ball Z crossovers on every test. And my teacher would just write like LOL and fail me. And their absolute reverence for her drove them apart. So began the war between Zero and Big Boss. Opposing interpretation. Okay, I'm only pausing this slide. I am meant to fail that class because I just didn't give a shit. So little of a shit that um, I was allowed to fail two classes in high school, so I figured I'd choose that one to fail. So I skipped it all the time. When I went, it just dicked around. The teacher fucking hated me. Or, well, I don't think they hated me, but they definitely... I wasn't... My passion didn't align with theirs. Each striving to realize the boss's will. Everything you see today stems from... Their cold war. <laughs> Differences in race, in religion, in ideology. This war they've caused is no different from any other human Those are so sick. in history. <laughs> it all started with a tiny fork in the path. Oh yeah, this this is what I was talking about when I played Metal Solid 3, if and she explained. Into a great rift. Oh wait, she didn't explain it. There was nothing left of the boss's noble will in their struggle. All that remained was hatred, a passion to destroy one another. Big Boss returned to the US with a plan in mind, and once again assumed command of Foxhound. In Outer Heaven, and then Zanzibar Land, Big Boss plotted coup d'etat against Zero. But you, Solid Snake, his own clone, foiled his efforts both times. Big Boss and Gray Fox, Frank Yeager, were left near death. Zero recovered their bodies. Frank Yeager's entire body was reconstructed through surgery, and he was reborn as the Cyborg Ninja. Thank you, Phantom. Big Boss, now a vegetable, became a prisoner of Zero even in death. For Zero, more than anyone else. I didn't even know that was an appropriate term. It Boss probably isn't anymore. Icon. No, the truth is, for Zero, he was an irreplaceable friend. After Big Boss's betrayal, Zero could no longer believe in something so uncertain as life. He lost his belief in everything. Nations, organizations, individuals. Zero was no longer willing to place his organization in the hands of the next generation. Instead, he set up a network of AIs. A Here we go. A system formed from all the information he had accumulated. He built four AIs. GW, TJ, AL, and TR. As sort of a digital Mount Rushmore and one core artificial intelligence to unite them, John Doe. GW? The same GW we destroyed five years ago? The same. Ever since GW was cut off, JD and the other three AIs have controlled all information on every aspect of global society. Economics, politics, law, morals, and culture. 
the war economy is no exception. In the shadow of the system and its complete control over the world, Big Boss isn't allowed to live or die. He's trapped for eternity in a brain-dead prison. To bind himself to his friend, to ensure his rule over the world, Zero transformed Big Boss into an icon, neither living nor dead. Sounds almost like a religion. Naturally, Ocelot and I plan to free him from Zero's prison. We enlisted Naomi Hunter, an authority in the field of nanomachine research, into our organization. And we used Frank Yeager to kill Dr. Clark. Ocelot tortured the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, also known as Sigint, to death. It's crazy that that's like Sigint. The Shadow Moses incident. With Paramedic and Sigint dead, Zero was the only one left. But we too paid a price. I lost Ocelot. Ocelot wasn't fighting for the Pentagon or the Russians, and certainly not for Zero. He was fighting for Big Boss. He idolized him. When Ocelot grafted Liquid's right arm to his own, his body was taken over by Liquid's thoughts and spirit. He may be Ocelot in physical form, but his mind is Liquid's. I was the last one. And then, someone appeared to help me. Raiden. It was when I met him that I finally discovered the location of Big Boss. It was in the data he obtained from GW. Together, he and I retrieved Big Boss. But Big Boss was still asleep, as Zero had left him. Why did Zero keep him alive? People need heroes. Zero wanted to create a messiah. A legend that would never die. Liquid is after Big Boss's body. Is it here? I'll take you to meet him. By the way, at this point, a lot of players are, it's like, it's normal to be insanely confused at this point because you're dealing with like, What's Ocelot doing? What was Big Boss's dream, a.k.a. what Ocelot is apparently trying to support? But it's not Ocelot, it's Liquid. So what is he really trying to do? Then there's the then there's who you're wor working for with Colonel and, and Otacon. And then there's the Patriots. And then there's, uh, like, what was Zero trying to do with the Patriots? There are so many ideas at play right now in this game that all combine with... Uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, that it's like, it's normal to be insanely confused at this point. Because it's not all explained yet. And even when it gets explained, it's not like it becomes way easier to understand, but... This is his picks. His hmm. holy ark. I didn't see yet, Dark, but... Yeah, well, they haven't even went, like, super deep into the Lale Lule Lo yet. They've only said it, like, once this game. Ooh, that's crazy. His body is alive, but his consciousness is locked away by nanomachines. So technically speaking, he's not really brain dead. We can't allow Liquid to inherit the same sins that corrupted Zero. Manipulating people's minds for the sake of his own ego. Yeah, Last of Us has 96% of Rotten Tomatoes, 60 reviews from critics. 
That is going to get insanely review bound by audiences. She's gone. Just watch. She's not in the Nomad anymore. When? Less than an hour ago. She disappeared right after she and Sonny got back from Dr. Madnar's place. Why weren't you watching her? I, uh, I didn't have my glasses on. Oh. Naomi said it herself. The experiment can't succeed without her. You think she went back to Liquid? Uh, what about Bryden? Good news on that front. We managed to get our hands on a dialysis machine and set up an ICU. We just started him on dialysis and treatment for his wounds. Will he live? Yeah, no worries there. Sonny's taken oh, over shit. Naomi, but his treatment's probably going to take 48 hours. Until then, Ryden can't move. Hey, you! Come here! What the hell is that? Move! Same grip. Ah, man. Scarabs. Unmanned scouts. They found us. We're moving out. Snake. The PMCs are converging on your location. Damn it! They're sending in Gecko! They'll be on you in less than Yeah, five the red minutes. nine. I think are it's a, a Mauser yes, is what it's called, we'll but the canal it looks exactly the like the red nine. Get it ready. Hurry. Yes, and it reloads the same way. Snake. With the Over little here. thingy on the top. We've got decoy bands set to draw some of our pursuers away. I'm the worst person to play these games. I'm the like the exact kind of person to play these games that piss people off because it's all about well, like I mentioned before, it's a lot of it's about emotions and relationships, which I'm I'm good with. But politics and guns. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the thing's called. Uh, oh, she still got it! Oh, yeah. All of these children are orphans. They work in arms factories. And when they grow up, they want to join a PMC. They seek revenge on other companies, PMCs that killed their parents, and use their earnings to support their younger siblings. There are countless child soldiers like these in the PMCs. Nowadays, anyone with a computer can get combat training. The FPS games that these children love are <laughs> distributed for free by these companies. Of course, it's all just virtual training. We can it's say so that we have... Oh, we, we took the VR training to use this AK. And before they know it, they're in the PMCs holding real guns. These kids end up fighting in proxy wars that have nothing to do with their own lives. They think it's cool to fight like this. They think that combat is life. They don't need a reason to fight. After all, for them, it's only a game. Zero is the cause of all this. Defeating Liquid won't change things. Unless we stop the Patriot system, the cycle will go unbroken. On. Yes, Mom. Hold on to me. I don't remember this part being fun. Besides how cool it is. With so many wars being waged, oil and biofuel have become as precious as diamonds. It's been a while since I went out for a ride. Are you sure about this? <laughs> I only get off my bike when I fall in love. Or fall dead. Big Mama. Big Mama. Call me Eva. Ah, she says that in, in the third one. 
worst part of the game. Yeah, I blocked this part out of my mind. The FPS is gonna be tight here, I can just tell. See, it, it's memories like this that make me play normal mode when I play Metal Gear. Here we go! <laughs> it's so fucking cool. Like Ava back on the bike with a solid snake on the back. But man, the gameplay. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't remember, really. <sighs> Thank you, Phantom and PP again. Thank you. All right. We have to keep Big Boss's body out of enemy hands, no matter what. Get the body safely. Whoa. I can't use them. Wait, wait. Oh, I can't use the rocket launcher. Poop. Wait, it's infinite stun grenades. What? Oh, wait, wait. Does it work on them? Okay, this might be annoying to watch. Actually. Just gonna do something else. Yeah. Are these bad guys? <laughs> I'm not as good as Big Boss, okay? I can't tell who's bad or good! This is ass! Dude, this gun is horrid, horrible. Oh, wait, I have it equipped. Ah. What the hell should I use? I guess P90? Help me! You good, bro? I don't know what- should I shoot the legs? I, I think I should shoot the legs, but I don't know how to go. <laughs> Okay, mom. Now loading. My neighbor was making a bunch of Oh yeah, this car would blow on her. Oh my god. Guess we'll just have to outrun them. Oh shit, hey! Oh, that guy's going in on the van, holy shit, dude.
whatever. Here they come! Snake, watch the right. Watch the right, okay. I think it's a combination between my my PS3 chugging, which is just causing a lot of noise. That's definitely it. Enemy dead ahead. little bird bots. <clears throat> More incoming! I've got bad news. The decoy vans have all bitten the dust. Which means the enemy will be focusing on you now. I just need you to hold the wall. That's my... That's my... I'm the boy. I'm not looking behind myself. Same speed. Let's see what this does. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. 
Look at the MVP here. Thank you, Shira. Never mind. Not again. Eva, I need you. Oh, is that you? <laughs> Mother's work is never done. Big Mama. Snake, open the cure menu. Where, where's the van? Over there. She'll be coming to search the van. I'll take care of it. You stay here. Keep watch. I'll contact the children. Thank you. It's well done. Here. Take this. Snake. Come back in one piece. I will. Uh, promise me. <laughs> So do we just get this person's face if we kill her with the tra- Whoa, wait, wait, is it same as last time? I can kill phase one with the weapon and then phase two I drank? Okay. Look, look, look. Ah. Kill the beast, trank the beauty. Got it. 
That I can remember. Augers. Look, it's like a plain RE4. You're coming in here? Wait, what? Will, will he say anything? Will she say anything if I put on the mask? This might be hard to hit with the RPG. That's not him. For her. Oh my god. It's okay, we got this, we got this. Watch. We gotta shoot. Now move. Right? Where are you going? Come back down here. Oh! oh dear, oh dear. No, no, come up here. The whole place is coming down. I hope there's a limited amount of these. Oh, she got land. There we are. Oh, it does like nothing. <laughs> the dodge! Crap. 
going on? It's like the Harrier fight. do. that. Snake! She's come out of her suit! I see that. Ooh, watch out! She's gonna try to grab you! What? Oh, the camera. Wait, is there a... Is there something you can get from using the camera? Or is it just like... Haha, uh -huh, I'm taking a picture of a hot chick. Oh, 
Or she'll start posing. Oh! The launcher. That bird down, snake. Drabbin. Drabbin. You got yourself a souvenir, too. A grenade launcher. Nice. Drabbin. That's a real user-friendly weapon. Not much use to me without an ID, though. I laundered this one free of charge. What's the catch? Only that you give it to me when you're done with it. A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it. Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20, but she had years of soldiers' rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Have soldiers? Her. Yeah, the soldiers of Ake, a place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage slowly built up inside their bodies, their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. They called the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens. Beat them even harder. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left, leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those sky burials. One by one, their bodies were picked apart by ravens' beaks, until finally the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. In that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable rage, and it smothered her soul. She ripped the ravens yeah. pecking at her to pieces, and then went after the soldiers. And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. Screeching and cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered. The pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades of war had imparted on those soldiers. Mm. It was her strength and her greatest weakness. You're something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. No, seriously. You're the seed of war. In fact, I'd say you might even be war itself. Draven. Maybe it's Draven. still too late to tell. You've still got half the B and B core ahead of you. Keep your eye on the ball, pal. Draven. Oh hell yeah. Draven. Yeah. Be cool to see some flashbacks. Thank you, Magmo. Really appreciate it. Snake. I have to apologize. The three vans that came out with us are decoys. The real one is floating down the river, headed downstream. I managed to get in touch with the children. The Pix is safe. We're going to rendezvous on the riverbank, downstream. Land and air routes are cut off. But 
There's a cruiser waiting for us. The Volta River is our only chance of escape. Oh, let's get out of here. Hurry. Good thinking. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. need to feel the wind anymore. There's no need to keep lying to myself. I only get off my bike when I fall in love. Or... Oh, snake. Give me a hand. Yeah. Uh, The underground aqueduct leads to the river. There should be fewer of them down there. Oh. Yo, thank you, Kitty Rar, for the raid. Thank you, thank you. What are we up to? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Make sure to give Kitty Rar a follow. Very cool streamer. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We're watching this movie together. Yeah, watch party. <laughs> Thank you. What were you up to, Kitty Rare? Oh, nice. That must have been freaking exhausting. Oh, look who it is. Yeah, that would have been brutal. Nice job. Liquid. Not bad. Where's the pigs? <laughs> that no longer matters. Where is it? So, snake. Yeah, it's brutal. This game needs a port so badly. Here in. Mm, cigars, father's favorite. What do you say? Care for one last smoke? Huh. You think you're a big boss now? <coughs> oh. Guilty as BM. charged. All that 
ends today. <laughs> Nice try. But when it comes to CQC, I've got the upper hand. Even if you do get a hold of the system, you'll only have one part of the Patriots AI. The military part. What of it, brother? It's only a matter of time before I have everything. Remember I'll have to keep us again. The AI they think they lost. It's mine. I'm a part of my army. Impossible. We destroyed it. Your worm only managed to cut GW into little pieces. Pieces we were able to reconstruct. And then we stowed it away inside JD's network. This man's body has served me well, allowing me to pass every security barrier between me and GW. After all, the Patriot system is nothing more than a machine. Now that GW is a spook inside the network, there's no way JD would recognize it as an external threat. Once I destroy JD with a nuclear strike, the Patriots network will be mine. And then, I'll build my haven, free from all forms of control. I'll cast aside my old identity and take my own name for the first time. Created by the Patriots. We're not men. We're shadows in the shape of men. We're freaks who never should have existed. No. We're a sister. Insurance that future generations never prosper. Ah, oh, old man hunters. The Patriots saw fit to create us, and in doing so, became our only raison d'être. I won't fight my fate any longer. I'll kill Zero. And Big Boss, and become a patriot myself. It all began with Zero and Big Boss. Our purpose in life is to fulfill our destinies. And once all is returned to Zero, the world can be reborn. Friendly fire. Adam. Shit, he juice that thing. the baton to the next generation the only choice left to us is death
boss. Good. The players have all assembled, Snake. The time has come for you to witness. Witness our moment of triumph. Thank you, Camelambria. Oh, well, I'm barely, I'm holding it, just barely. Second longest in the game. Playing to the end of this act. Which I think we already beat the act, we just have to get to the cutscene. We got him! It's finally over!
liquid. Stop! Gun. Again, DLC. The system is mine. Your guns and your weapons are no longer your own. Behold, guns of the people. He's getting them. Look at him having fun.
I, tr I did once, but it made me reset. That felt so unnecessary. I don't I don't think the amount of cutscenes is a problem. Great friends. Meryl. 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 Johnny. I love that he's super hot. I forgot what he looked like. Give 
He's nailing it. He's nailing it. Don't go. Meryl. 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 It's not, I mean. Oh. Thank you. You're okay, Meryl. Just because he has IBS doesn't mean he should get all that hate, guys. If it's all right, call me Johnny. Oh. What if Johnny was our hero? You and the beasts are no different. Scorched shadows born to the world. When a beast steps into the light, uh, uh, unless the light is put out, the shadow cannot be erased. So long as there is light, there is shadow. Uh, to return everything to normal, the light must be extinguished. And when that happens, you will be too. Kevin. Like I said, we pride ourselves on service. Come on, let's take this guy to his friends. Kevin. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Yeah, rip Ava. Oh man, that cutscene. I like how I love the start of that where uh Liquid or Ocelot's just sitting on the bench smoking a cigar by himself and Snake coming up on him. It just looks so funny, both of them like in a downtown in a city. Ah, uh, that was sick though. I actually really, really like this game. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I don't mind the amount of cutscenes. Honestly. It's hard to hate on cutscenes when the main franchise I play, uh, half the duration of the playthroughs is staring at a door opening. So, uh, it's not something I can criticize this game for. All right. I am tired. We've been doing this for, we've been, I've been streaming for nine hours and 40 minutes. I am going to save it. And we are going to finish this shit. Whoa! I understand the hit. Like, I, I get when people like, this game sucks. Like, I get it. They bought the game to play a game. And you're watching a huge movie. Uh, thank you, Abra.
the two gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the story is insane. And the fan service is awesome. Like, I don't know. There are so many good moments in this game. Like, getting... Getting into Ava's hideout and seeing those posters there and getting the flashbacks and the exposition on um on Metal Gear Solid 3, the Patriots, just the whole the whole thing, you know? And understanding everything a little more, or maybe being a little more confused, one of the two. Yeah, you could skip the cutscenes as well. Like you could skip the briefings. I don't think it's a huge deal. You get most of the story stuff, like, you get most of what you need to hear within the missions, so. 